Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of the Nerdpocalypse Podcast. I'm your host, Jay. I'm here with my co-host, Micah. Hey. And Terrence. What's up? All right, guys. We're back um, for another full episode. Um, there is plenty of talk about this week. Uh, a couple things in Checked Out, uh, Science and Tech, and Stupid Tech are back. Um, Stupid Tech is a little a little bit different this week. Uh, lightning Round, of course, Movie and TV News, uh, Question of the Week, uh, What the Fuck, and of course, Trailers, where we will talk about the new trailer for Terminator Dark Fate. Um, okay, so in Checked Out, before we get to... Um, things with that we saw i would just like to say for folks who did folks who are premium members uh and maybe aren't aware you should be by now but if in case you aren't um if you're a premium member no time to bleed has a new episode finally so we're, we're back on track with that um we did rambo 4 a lighthearted <laughs> uh film about uh one man's journey uh to hell and back inside of his diseased mind <laughs> um <laughs> But uh, that's a light one, and we uh, spun that into magic, I have to say, uh, to toot our own horn. But check out uh, the Rambo 4 in-depth review for No Time to Bleed. Um, checked out this week, uh, Carrie and I sat down to talk about her viewing of the new Aladdin movie. Um, so you can check that out on YouTube.com slash The Nerdpocalypse. Or you can uh, listen to the audio version if you subscribe to the Coming Distractions podcast feed. That's where we put all of our quick um, quick movie reviews. There will be a review of Brightburn there tomorrow. By the time you're listening to this, like later, sometime later in the day on Friday, there will be a review for uh, Brightburn as well. Um, so check those out. Uh, then somebody, I assume, Micah, you watch live in front of a studio audience? Yes. So I don't know um, what this is. This is... Um um, do you know who Norman Lear is? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is the Jefferson's <clears throat> all family, family thing. thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. So it was live, uh, as Jamie Foxx proved that it was live because he fucked up a line. Um, oh, really? Yeah, he did. Yeah, and and broke character was like, this live, y'all. <laughs> like, all right, all right, yo. Yeah, you're all supposed right. to just kind of keep rolling. You're supposed to just kind of push you through that rock shit. Live? Just, yeah, they nailed that whole that was that was whole season. Amazing, yeah. It was like a whole. There was a last season. I think it was one season. I'm yeah, sure yeah. last season, season when they I'm did the, the show live. And they yeah. fought. They For never. Those that don't know Rock was a television show back in the nineties. About a Baltimore, Baltimore garbage man. Baltimore garbage man. <laughs> the show was really good. It was very good. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was actually. Good. Charles was Dutton. He murdered a guy. That's actually true. That's actually yeah. true. <laughs> we went yeah. to we went to school with his nephew. Do you know that? Uh, I think I remember hearing something about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Did he back a truck up on this motherfucker when he murdered the guy? No, he got into a fist fight and killed him with his bare hands. Oh, my God. Damn. I'm pretty sure that's true. Yeah. Something like that. Even Baltimore, yeah. Yeah. But that's still, by the way, uh, Sunny from uh, uh, yeah, yeah from Dirt, Dirt Logan, Logan. Dirty Shit. Nigga, that's one of the greatest fucking boys. <laughs> I'm back, back trucking this motherfucker. I was simply saying. <laughs> I was simply saying. I love Charles and stuff, man. He doesn't get enough work. He almost murdered Clifton Powell in an episode of fucking Rock. I mean, he had that nigga up. I thought he was going to kill him. I mean, it he is. was like <laughs> ripped from the headlines. <laughs> <laughs> it is Clifton Powell, man. Yeah. Like, he's I mean, got yeah, a he real kinda, yeah, he, it. yeah, he got it coming. Yeah. Yeah. One, one <laughs> character, one of his characters has it coming. He was a drug dealer on that episode. Uh, shocking <laughs> news. <laughs> shocking <laughs> news. Or, shock. or a corrupt reverend, <laughs> or a guy fucking your wife when you're off in war. Something. <laughs> Clifton Powell <laughs> always plays a piece of shit. Clifton Powell is a drug dealer moonlighting as an actor. <laughs> yeah, he <is. laughs> He's good at it. Uh, Norman Lear created All in the Family and the Jeffersons, two uh, of the funniest sitcoms. Didn't he do? Um, uh, he did. A, he did Sanford and Son, I think. And he did, and he also um, did what's his name? Um, good times. Good times. Right? Good times. Yeah. Yeah. Good times. Yeah. Um, like Norman Lear, he's still alive and still like super sharp. Uh, if Norman Lear ninety six were, were to run for president instead of Bernie Sanders, would you vote for him? <laughs> I mean, he's. We've seen him actually talk to black people before. That's whereas, true. Whereas everybody just kind of speculates on whether or not Bernie Sanders wa- marched with MLK. He he didn't. <laughs> he, was in, he was he was at a rally. Yeah. <laughs> that don't say that you. All right, you know what? Stay tuned to look forward this week. Norman Lear, twenty twenty. If he makes it, because the guy. No, I know, but I like. Yeah, Norman Lear was on oh, like. Um, no, Norman Lear was on. Um, uh, what is what's the sh- uh, not Pod Save America? What's the other one? Um, um, Love it or leave it. He was mm-hmm. on there like 
early when they started, like talking about politics. Like he's a really super sharp guy to be. I mean, that was probably when he was ninety five. Like, <laughs> no, he's like a super sharp guy, actually. Yeah, he's an, he, he's an interesting dude. Though. He he still is. He was he introduced the two shows. So oh, what yeah? this what this was is uh, two episodes, one of All in the Family, one of the Jeffersons, and. Um, for those that don't know, All in Family, the, both of these shows are about two lovable bigots. And yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's I mean, a they, wild premise for America. Like, that's crazy. And and the the topics that were covered uh, uh, on these Jefferson shows. And Bunker. Yeah. Right. And the <laughs> topics that were covered on these shows uh, are 100% relevant today, which is really fucking sad. Um, but I urge you. If you um if if you are not easily offended, uh, to seek these shows out because they are really really good and they use humor to speak about uh, society's you know problems. Uh, they're basically bigots surrounded by liberals, right? Yeah, uh, especially what's the, what's the name's, um, uh, son-in-law. Yeah, yeah, with the me Jewish head. dude. Yeah, no, it's Rob yeah. Reiner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah right. Fucking famed director, <laughs> right. famed political. Yeah, I, that show is fucking, fucking like that, that show is amazing. amazing. Look, look, I tell you right like, now, twenty year olds, you can't handle all of the family. <laughs> you can't. You can't. You know. That's how I know uh, older generations. Like we are, t- we are yeah. just tougher than you. You could never watch All in the Family. No fucking way, Yo, dude. Archie Bunker, my nigga, like. Yo, he was a racist. <laughs> he was a, he was a racist, thing. a sexist, a misogynist. Every ist he yeah. was, yo. But, but, but here's the thing. Was like, yeah, yeah. Yo, but here's the thing. He was hilarious. He was fucking and hilarious. He was always, and he was fucking stupid. And, yeah. that's and that was the, the point. Right, that was the point. Was that he was completely stupid and ignorant and had these closed-minded views. He was the butt of the joke. Like, right. he was not glorified in any way. Anyway... These these were two episodes. They were shot live. I didn't know there was an All in the Family spinoff called Archie Bunker's, Bunker's Place. 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 Yeah. I didn't know that. When Edith died, that's kind of when that happened. Oh, that's interesting. So, yeah, he owns a tavern in Astoria, Queens. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So, all right, you, you, we, we talked about um, uh, All in the Family, right? Uh, the cast is just fucking... All over the place. Archie Bunker is played by Woody Harrelson. That's pretty good. Because um, Woody Harrelson can play a racist like a son of a bitch, dude. He can. He can. Marissa Tomei, uh, Marissa Tomei played Edith. Wow. Uh, she, like did a, she did a pretty good job, too. Uh, she's an she Oscar winner. Thor. Oh, yeah, Archie. <laughs> she did the voice. Yeah, she did the voice. You know, I kind of need to see that. I need to see it's that. It's actually pretty good, man. It's actually pretty She's good. She's a great actress. She's the, an Oscar winner. Yeah. The, the only critique I have about both of these shows... <laughs> it's pretty good, actually. Like, That's not bad. <laughs> the only critique I have about both of these shows... Everybody did a really good job, except for Jamie Foxx when he flubbed that line. Um, is that these characters are so... Like monumental like they're so ingrained they're iconic they're iconic right yeah. Yeah. and it's weird seeing these people cosplay as these characters yeah, that's kind of difficult like george jefferson nah yeah. right, you exactly can't you that, can't yeah. do it <laughs> like as much as you can't be you can't be sure good as good he is not nah yeah. right he couldn't do it like it was it was like a parody because he would try to do the walk yeah. and shit but the walk would be too it would be like like, like that, and but shit. but, no, but that's mean, because that was sherman hemsley right, right. Like, <laughs> that's just who he was right, yeah, but uh, he said he was like super shy. Sherman Helmsley, is that right? Yeah, in real life, he was like massively shy. Wow, he I, was on, that, he was on that, um, that reality TV show. He was like the one I can't, I can't remember what show it was, it was on like VH1 or something like that before he died. Hmm. Like, he was like re- incredibly shy. Oh. But apparently, nah, when he was fucking <laughs> like when he's filming, filming, when he's exactly. filming yeah. yeah, that's you. Uh, yeah, that's, it. that's actually both. That's actually both. <laughs> yeah. Of you. Yeah. yeah, you guys are both You're very right. quiet. Um, so it was, it was, it was an episode. It was, it was basically the episode. Of All the family was was the first time you see George Jefferson on screen, right? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. The second episode was the first ever episode of the Jeffersons. Okay, so they played it line for line. Yeah, didn't write the line for line. Oh, like, okay, cool. That's oh, like, like, which two is is a positive and a negative, right? Like, right. wow, they they really kept to the purity of this thing, mm-hmm. right? But at the same time, like these people aren't—they're not. They're not Jamie Foxx is not Sherman yeah. Helmsley. So who played his wife? 
Um, Wanda Sykes. Wanda Sykes. <laughs> <laughs> Wanda Sykes is funny. Yeah. She ain't wheezy though, yo. Yeah. Like it's it's very like she did a really good job. Everybody did a really good job with this, right. but it's just difficult for me to to kind of separate the two. Yo, I Will think Ferrell it's worth and watching. Carrie Washington as the right. neighbors as, is as pretty Tom good. And, yeah, that's yo. Fucking hilarious. yo, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Like I'm looking at this picture, like. That's not bad, dude. It's really good. That's man. not really bad. Good. The casting sounds actually like pretty solid. The the uh, look, spoiler alert. Is you should. A, you is should this watch on Hulu. This. this is probably on Hulu. Right? It's uh. It might be. I watched it because it's on uh, ABC, right? Yeah, it's on ABC, yeah, it's and I watched it through my cable company. They have an app, right? So that's where I watched it. But spoiler alert for the Jeffersons. This is the first episode of the Jeffersons, and the plot is that they are. Uh, George Jefferson wants uh, his wife to get a maid. His wife doesn't want to get a maid, right? So Weezy is interviewing maids, and fucking Marla Gibbs shows up. <laughs> really? <laughs> playing Florence. And when I tell you that she is a fucking pro, she's a pro, dude. Like, no flub line. She's 87 years old. That's wild. And still Jesus got Christ. it. Yeah, it's on Hulu, by the way. If you well, yo, it. you should you should really watch. I, it. I'm gonna watch yeah, I'm gonna this watch it tonight. When I get yeah. it. you should really watch it because it made me it, it made me remember those shows. And I'm gonna see if I can find those shows. You know where I can watch some of them because they're they're really good, man. They're really good. I feel like an All in the Family podcast would be fucking. Nuts. Uh, we could do both of them, nigga. That <laughs> both of them. Hold on, I would do a, I, yeah. I would do both of them. Yeah, yo, <laughs> come on, yo. <laughs> yo, both like, of them. I would do all of those fucking shows. Yeah, They're man. so good, dude. All in the family, fucking Jefferson, Sanford and Son. Jennifer Hudson uh, sang the Jefferson's theme song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Wearing an afro. Bruh. I mean. I mean, god damn. <laughs> Look, it's... It's really good. I watched that, and I watched the special uh, that came on after it, which talked about oh, yeah. the history of the shows. Right mm-hmm. And yeah, that, I said, "Look, I was like, yo, I got to make sure I. This is the whole reason why I put this on the docket was to tell you to look at Jennifer Hudson wearing an afro. Yeah, that's not bad. God damn. But yeah, this show these these shows were were they were good. They were good. They made me re- remember what I loved about. Uh, the originals, and I think the originals are some of the best television um, that actually spoke to people and had a point. And yeah, I and agree with you. and sadly, all the stuff that they talk about uh, applies today. All of it. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing: like, that that was in the Nixon era. And there are a couple of parallels. Yeah, you think? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it wasn't nearly as bad back then. <laughs> I mean, um, you're right. I mean, in a lot of ways. But it, it is it is telling that things... I mean, the things have changed. I, I don't like when people go, oh, nothing has changed. Yeah, 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 yeah it has. has. Okay? Like, it super has. But, um, but there are some fundamentals to society that have not changed. But I would... I would really actually enjoy going back and doing oh, All in the Family yeah, and the man. Jeffersons. Again, look, if you like under the age of like 25, you ain't ready for those I shows. I mean, right? like, you're not. You, know? you grew up in a society way too nice. Honestly, if you are under yeah. the age of 25, I, I really you want should you to give it. this a shot. Don't be a pussy, yeah. Huh? Yeah, don't be a pussy. <laughs> for real. I'm don't sorry, be a, don't like, be a but punk you bitch. Just, but you, but you <laughs> have be a to, punk bitch. But the thing is, what you have to understand about those shows is, is your point. Is that George Jefferson and Archie Bunker are the butt of the joke. Right. They are the dinosaurs in a world that is moving faster than they are. Right. Right? right, and like once you take, once you get that part down, everything else becomes crystal clear as to why the things happen around. Them. Right, don't be mad just because you hear somebody say the word nigga or you hear somebody say the word honky. Nigga, like, honky is hilarious. Well, it, look, one, look, it, look, it, look, it, it is. It, it's just, it, it is. Like it sounds it like it, it's stupid. It sounds like it needs a sound effect. You know what right. I mean? Honky. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you know? right. yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. It does. <laughs> but but it's it's more to it than just yeah. you know shows now would do that just to shock you, right? But with no point behind it. Right. Like no, this is how people speak yeah i mean there are little like and they really push they really push the limits because then you also had situations on that show like i don't i mean i'm sure you guys probably remember um there's an episode of all in the family where 
they try, like, this group tries to convince fucking Archie Bunker to join the KKK at one point. Yeah. And he's like, okay, like, maybe these guys aren't so bad. They're making some good points. Yeah. And then he see, and then he, because he's an idiot, he sees the uniform and he was like, because he didn't know that they were the clan. Yeah. They were just like, oh, come on, man. He's just like, be with us. You know, these blacks. And, and then he get, he sees the, the uniform and he's like, Oh fuck that! Like, oh my God. Nah, you know, like, look, I'll really fuck with them, but like, I mean, like, George like, Jefferson's a son of a bitch, but like, kind of like that guy. To kill that motherfucker! Like, like, like right? And then, relax. Right, and like, that's the point. Is like, idiots can easily be moved, but then when push comes to shove, your humanity shows up, and you go, "Yeah, this doesn't feel right." Right. Right. And like, that's okay to like one thing that I think a lot of younger folks, especially when it comes to television and things like that, don't realize is like acknowledging things that things exist isn't the same as thing, saying that these things are okay. Right. And I think a lot of times we like, I see a lot of like hot takes on TV shows and movies and they're just like, I can't believe they showed that. That doesn't mean they're saying, yes, this is fine. They're right. just acknowledging they're that these, these views... Right. It's not a condoning thing, but it's that these things exist. And we, weirdly in society, have tried to pretend like none of this exists. And then we are somehow shocked by these things when they do show up. Like, I'm not shocked by these things at yeah, all. I'm shocked right. by very little nowadays. Yeah. I, well, I've always been shocked by very little, but... <clears throat> yeah. It's just weird to see people just outraged about everything. And yeah. I get it. But come on. I mean, there, about are certain certain things, things. there are certain things you please feel free to be outraged about. Yeah. TV shows aren't one of them. Not not most things on TV. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, be outraged about what you see on the news, especially in Colorado. But don't be right. outraged about, you know, uh, 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 George Jefferson said nigga. Right. On TV. You can't do that. Like, I mean, look, it's a perfect segue. Things that actually are legit, things that you should get really mad about. The Game of Thrones season finale, guys. <laughs> series finale. We're series finale, excuse me. Um, I don't watch that show, so I just laughed. Well, I'm at very both, angry at you. At, for... both, at both sides. <laughs> I'm like, it's fine. And then other people are like, this is the worst writing ever. I'm like, I really don't think that's true. <laughs> I feel like, like you I guys really should read other things. Because, like, <clears throat> but, you know, whatever. Um... So I have a hot take for well, actually, Micah, you and I are the only ones here who who watched uh, Game of Thrones. What did you think of the the season or series finale? Season? I mean, look, as series finales go, it, it given the way the season has kind of transpired, like you knew from the beginning that this season was going to be like fuckery, and after the first episode, you could tell that they were like. They they were like let's go let's go let's go let's go <laughs> like, yeah we got Star Wars man. <laughs> right <laughs> like, like it up, B. given given how the season went I feel like this is the best series finale you could ask for now I'm not saying that you shouldn't be upset if you didn't like it because it's you know quite frankly that whole war with the night walk with the White Walkers that could have been a season right like and mm-hmm. then the last two episodes. Could have been a season. And I would have done it that way if I was going to wrap it up. If I didn't have Star Wars, you know, like, I want to do some (laughs) some Star Wars shit, right? (laughs) I want to get away from you fucking high fantasy dorks. So I I 100% go to you fucking... And do space high fantasy. (laughs) Right, right. I, I, sci-fi dorks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think they're gonna be bad? <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be fucking. They're gonna rip you to shreds. I, I 100% understand that if you didn't like it, but I, you know, it, it, it was it it was fine. Like I, I am completely whelmed. As I, I said, on I don't day. watch whatever, but like rarely do television shows or movies or what have you stick the landing when it comes to things like this. People hate it. Like they really, really, really? I, yeah, no, I saw they hated it. I, I, they I, the funny I thing is, the I love, I they love this jail, right? Because they're yeah, they all went to the jail. Scumbag. They brought back yeah. all the tertiary characters. Yeah, I thought that was a great two part. Everybody was like, these people are trash. Yeah, right. They, they did a victory jail. Life. Yeah, they did right. a victory lap for two and episodes, and everybody was like, "Well, fuck you, damn bitch! I didn't like you anyway." Like, all right, and then like Green Day was playing at the end. Wasn't that one year? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Um, yeah, but like, rarely, like, series never really stick the landing. Um, I can't think of one series finale that that was like super that satisfying. Was, uh, Breaking Bad, yeah, 
That's what everyone can be yeah, saying. Yeah, Breaking Bad, dude, with the gun and everything. Yeah, gun that the truck. <laughs> yeah, and then he died. Like he Which had to. Died. Like, isn't it? yeah, he he had to go. Yeah, he had to I go. mean, he had to. But I kn- I know there are people out there who will be like, why do you have to die? Yeah, I mean, it's because not, gonna, I like it, not everyone's gonna be happy. But I'm but I, saying, I like, think the vast majority of people thought that was a pretty good end. But like overall, you never really Sopranos. It's, it's nope. just because first of all, the show's <laughs> ending. Yeah, you and, don't like, want the show to end. Show to end, but then like people are like. Oh, it was ending. How was it going to end? And then they never really liked the way it ended. And yeah, right. because it's, it's never just, it's never how you imagine it would end, yeah. right? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Mash had a really good ending. That's a pretty famous ending. Um, I don't remember the ending of Mash. Um, but then again, I was not. Don't they all die or some shit like that? No, no, oh, they don't all die. Um, Saint Elsewhere wasn't all a dream. What's that? That's Saint Bob. Elsewhere. No, that's that, uh, uh, the New Heart. New Heart. That's Bob New Heart. Oh, which no? What was the other? The one the hospital joint? Saint Elsewhere. Was it the one with um, Denzel Washington? Was it saying elsewhere? Was I it? don't know. I, I never saw the ending of that because I was probably one. like it was a little kid in the, in like a in like a yeah uh, playing with like Jacks or some shit. Yeah, he was he woke up. Uh, yeah. He was in like a coma or some shit like that. Oh, in the hospital. I never it saw was, this. Was, yeah, like the it was all a dream. Was a fucking some dream. Shit. It was all a dream. <laughs> yeah, you used to read Word Up, Word Up magazine. All right, thank you. Uh, up, uh, open it was all magazine. Biggie's dream like, at the end. <laughs> What a weird, what a weird like, saying like, elsewhere fuck? ending. Who the fuck is this guy? Um, yeah, so look, I thought the series, I thought the series finale was fine. I, I agree with you. Um, I, I liked. Okay, so I, I'll take, I'll, I'll take one, I'll take one part of the argument out to, to then ask people who are listening or watching their thoughts on it. Take out the notion of like. The writing was bad, or you felt that this was rushed. Did you like the culmination of the series, right? Because we know that J. George R. R. Martin was like, "This is how it ends," right? He told them how they how they do it, right? Like Did these, he? yeah. He was like, "These are how the major characters are going to end up at the end," right? Like he was basically saying that his book ending may have some like tertiary characters or secondary characters that might have a slightly different ending, but the main characters, he was like, this is how it ends, right? So the main ending, spoiler for people who haven't watched, um, is that they choose, they, they basically have a group of people choose the king and it ends up being Braun who was, um, in the wheelchair, right? Braun Stark, right? Now, now here's the thing, because he's like the three eyed raven, he can see the future and all this other shit. The funny thing is, like, reading people's takes on it, on, on the things that happen, one thing I don't like is when people take metaphors and they take them literally and then say they, they're stupid. Like, that, that to yeah, me, people do that a lot. And, and that, that really kind of bugs me because it's like, either you don't get the metaphor or you're purposely doing that just to shit on the show. And, like, if you don't like it, you don't like it. But, like, let's not pretend to be – like, we don't need to enter silly season to, to do that. <laughs> Like the whole idea of the dragon not killing John and burning the chair, burning the yeah. Iron Throne. People were like, "Why would he just kill it?" Well, it's a metaphor. Right. Like it's an obvious metaphor that maybe the dragons you thought were dumb animals are not dumb, right. and they're actually very intuitive. Like they literally have connections with human beings. That they're not stupid, and that they realize that Danny, maybe Danny, did have to die, but this was a thing that drove Danny crazy. Like, so this is the thing that ruined her, so let's destroy that. Like, that's not crazy. And also people are like, well... well the argument would be that they didn't expound on that. Right, and, they, that, and that's they fair. They didn't write that into the script. Right, that's Like, we're, are we just supposed to expect that? Right, like, but... They didn't realize that, that, they didn't, that, that the dragons... Danny really, really... No, that the, the dragons That the are, dragons are, are intelligent. Like, but the thing is... All right, yeah. I mean, you could... I, like, I could hear that argument. Yeah. Like, that's a perfectly fine argument. I would, ar- I would, I would make the argument... Not that hard, but I would say, like, not everything has to be spelled out to you. Like, sometimes you just kind of no, go... it must be. Huh? It must be. Right. And, and like, some people do that, and I'm just like, but that's not really how all stories are told. But, like, okay, like, I, I can understand that point, right? The other, the other part of it is... When people said, oh, well, I didn't like that they just chose, they just chose Bran and like he was orchestrating all this stuff and, you know, and he just let all these people die. And I, and I just told, I, I was writing to someone. I said, think of Bran like you think of Doctor Strange in the Avengers movies. He knew what was going to happen at the end of Endgame. He knew everything that was going to happen. But if he said something, then it wasn't going to happen. So he knowing the future, he has to just shut the fuck up. And just let it play out, right? Like, he literally sees the future. Like, it's not that crazy to think, like, 
he just sees the future. It's a high fantasy. Like, well, it, you does, know. it doesn't have to be all that like secret and organized. Like, it just doesn't. I, it's, it's, I never thought that he could see the absolute future, right? I always thought, because when, whenever you talk about, you know, time travel and, you know, it's always like, maybe. Here's a possible future. Right. Here's right. a possible future that if certain things happen, they even say it in, in Endgame. Right. If certain things have to happen, otherwise, we're not going to get this one in 14 million. Right. Right. So I, you know, like I right. said, so I, I was I was okay with that. Here, here's what I was telling. I was I was <laughs> I was leading up to this uh, before the show. Here's my here's my ultimate hot take. People were like, oh, they they they, they took the they took the power away from uh, a woman being the the queen and all this other stuff and everything else. And I was and I was just thinking to myself, <laughs> isn't it a little is it a little ableist that you're not okay with the, the kid in the in the wheelchair to be a kid? Is it a little ableist, right? Allow, allow me to go over the top. But he didn't do anything. Why, why, why do you think he didn't do anything? Why? Because he's in a wheelchair? Because yeah. he's not walking around? Yeah, sorry, he's not as good as you. <laughs> with both legs, you son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, I hadn't seen that hot take. I was really proud of myself. That is hilarious. I was like, yeah, yeah nobody wrote this. I was like, somebody on the roof is going to write this. Right? Like, yeah, at some point, like, someone's going to write this. This fucking stupid ass hot take. But, but no, I, I, like, I didn't mind that in the end... The like the whole idea of like breaking the wheel, breaking the wheel, breaking the wheel wasn't what we thought it was. What we thought was breaking the wheel of tyranny of this bad person, and then a good person would come and be king or queen. What breaking the wheel was was actually stopping the idea of mo- monarchies via birth. Yeah, breaking the wheel means breaking the establishment. Right, and I think. And I thought that was clever. And to me, that's how I know George R.R. R. Martin gave them that ending. Because that ending is actually brilliant. That at the end, they came together to basically write the Magna Carta is what they did. Yeah. Right? Like, that that was the, the, the fundamentals of, like, we are going to choose a king. It makes sense that it's Braun because Braun can't have kids. Right. So we don't have to worry about his kids coming up and then being tyrannical. We will then come back after he dies. As, you know, whoever replaces all of us. And then they will choose the next king. Now, will that have, be a perfect? No, of course not. But, you know, like the idea of them literally laughing at democracy because <laughs> the Magna Carta was a building block to eventually get to democracy. That makes sense. Yeah. Like, but that's actually a clever ending. Like, to me, that's a clever ending. Is it executed perfectly? No, I would argue it isn't. But I would argue that that ending, when you look at the totality of the show, that actually makes sense. Yeah, if you it look does. at if you look at the season as a whole, or a series as a whole, really. Yeah, but this particular season, everybody seems to have like just this the huge, knives out. Yeah, yeah. Just, this huge gripe with like like everybody, you know, everybody's pointing out that one of those guys wrote that terrible Wolverine movie. Well, he also you know helped uh, write for television every other episode that you love. So. That's yeah. like, yo, you know, he's not, they're not, yo, they're you, not love, yo, you love right. the end game. Like eight, they have like seven seasons worth of fucking stuff. Uh, right. And then, that, then really people love. are going to be like, well, they got it from the books. Well, you know, the book, they're not looking at the book and just saying, giving it to the actors and say, do that. You have to adapt the stuff, right? Like, like, yeah, like they don't just pick dialogue whole cloth out right. of the book like that. That's not how it works. Right. But um, look, it, it was, by the way, the guys who wrote Endgame wrote, the dark world so i mean <laughs> come on yo you that's know. not an indication of anything i i think i think it should be celebrated that um that uh a a, a series that is the fuck? a series that is um you know stuck somewhere in the sci-fi section of a Barnes and Noble, right? <laughs> yeah, dude. Became became yeah, big the thing. biggest show on the planet. Yeah, cuz it had 19 million views on the That's uh, ridiculous. God, yeah. on, on the on the finale. That's, That's nuts. That's ridiculous, man. By the way, 19 million views of a series that one that's high fantasy, which is crazy. Two is the season that everyone apparently hated. Because <laughs> right? yeah, right? you could have just been like, you know what? End of this. I, uh, I'm not watching this. But 19 million people were like, I really need to I see need how to much see I want to hate this episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially. Right. right. Not, you know, the funny thing is, like, yeah, I had some issues with the season, but overall, I was like, it's fine. I, like, I guess for me, I never really found the writing on the show to be that amazing anyway. I, mean, I just never did. It's not. It's, 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 
you know. Yeah. I mean, the, the funny thing is, and this is not to defend these guys who wrote it. I don't give a fuck. But what did you think the last season was going to be? The thing that you, like, people the people always point to, like, all the, like, heavy dialogue and all the great writing and all this other stuff. That's all the political intrigue shit. This is the war. Yeah. Like, after- you're never going to get all the, like, ooh, backstabbing, da-da-da. No, that's it. That was all seven seasons. This is the end shit where we're going to kill the blue guy and kill that bitch in that castle. That's it. The, um, that's it. I, I mean, look, again, the rushed argument, 100% sure. agreed, right? Like this Six season, episodes is too short. This season could have been two seasons, right? Yeah, but, I agree with that. But, um... I, I I forgot my point because that's how much I don't care about, <laughs> about any of this anymore. Um, I'm glad it's over. I am too. I am I'm too. I thought it was good, man. And like, 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 be happy that something that you liked was actually given care and love. Well, maybe that's the problem, right? Like people people don't people, feel like it was. yeah. People feel like they just kind of didn't care at the end, right? They like everybody's. I mean, they like, probably I'm didn't, tired, yo. Like, I'm tired of like, years. Like that, it's like, hard to hear about these goddamn dragons. <laughs> like that whole petition thing really pissed me off, man. Because it's, it's a it, bunch of it's, it's a bunch obnoxious. of non-creative people yeah. telling a bunch of creative people that they need to do the, better. their free show. Uh, they need to do better. Like, nah, fuck you, yo. First of all, these actors they probably like this this role and stuff like that. But it's a gig, yo. It's a gig. <laughs> it's a gig for them. They don't care. They don't care about you. You think they want to go back out to the the Netherlands for six months just working their asses off? Nah, yo. They want to do something else. Yeah. Leave them alone. And I just... uh, Terminator Genesis. That's what really... That's that's the only thing that pissed me off about about the... Well, it's obnoxious. I mean, it's just this. It's it's, it's it's simply obnoxious. Well, we're a little embarrassing. Nah, yo. You look embarrassing. Dude, you, you, what you think that's gonna do for them? Right, like, like bitch, we got our 19 million views. What the fuck we care about you? Right. Oh, that really embarrassed them enough to get Star Wars. Yeah. To keep their Star Wars job. Yeah. yeah. Uh, here's the thing: <laughs> people in Hollywood are gonna be like, "Oh, the, those guys got 19 million people to watch it." Okay. Here's the thing: yeah, if you that- didn't like it and you watched it, that's the worst possible thing you could have done. <laughs> you should have turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> Dummy, but the, but the funny thing is, and I, and I'm gonna need people, and I, I'm just just a preemptive. This is episode I don't know, three fifty eight, something like that. Um, preemptively, I don't want to hear shit right now about how that Star Wars movie is gonna suck, be, just because they're writing it. That's a dumb fucking hot take. It's a super dumb one because it doesn't make sense considering that writers write many different things. They're right? Look, maybe it will, maybe it won't, but you have no fucking idea. You have no idea. And if you say, I'm not seeing it because those guys are working on it, all right, keep that same energy when it comes out. Because I don't believe you. I just don't believe you. You're, you're lying. Uh, Terrence, you watched the case against Adnan Syed. Uh, yeah, I watched it um, last two days. Um, if you remember, How many episodes is it, by the way? It's only four. Okay. Four hour, hour episodes. <clears throat> Basically, the first episode is essentially the podcast. Uh, it just goes over all the information that the podcast gave out, like the fact that he's in jail, the fact that there was an alibi that they never really went talked talked about in court. <clears throat> um, and it's weird to if you if you listen to the the podcast um, Serial podcast back in twenty fourteen. Is it is it in connection to Serial at all or no? Well, they talk about the podcast. They okay. absolutely talk about the podcast and how Kinda popular it was. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but this isn't like the produce... whole fucking reason why this this entire thing exists. But it's not like produced by that. No, or... no, no. <clears throat> it's totally different people. But it's weird. Like if you listen to the podcast, what that came out five years ago now, 2014. Wow. Um, all the people that were on the podcast, like Sarah, Sarah Koenig was the the one that did the podcast. Um, mm-hmm. They got a Peabody Award for that shit. <laughs> this is fucking wild. Yeah, as she should. Um, but the people that they interview are on the actual documentary. I want to see what Jay looks like. That son of a bitch. He, he's like a tall, lanky black dude. He did it. He probably wore Jenko jeans when he was young. He oh, did he it. Absolutely. He fucking did. He, he hit her body in one of those Jenko Yo, jeans. He, Knock it off. Look, this shit makes it seem like that nigga probably had. Oh, he one hundred percent had did. something to do. He with had it. something to do. With he it. did. He did. Um, there are a lot of people that still think Adnan did it. Um, this one, like people will also say that this is maybe very biased. 
Uh, because it's um, Chandra Sh- Chaudhry. Sh- Chaudhry. Oh, it's his friend, right? Yes. No, it's his um, like um, cousin or something. Cousin or something. Yeah. Yeah, but she's, she's a, a lawyer. She's a right? older. She's a little older than he is. Um, she looks exactly the same. Like they had an interview with her back in 1999 when the shit happened, mm-hmm. and her now she looks the fucking same. It's mm-hmm. weird. Um, Brown stay real. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they they interview his mother. Uh, his father is like a is as a hermit because of this shit. It's fucked up. It's really sad, actually. His brother, who looks like he's older than him, which is really weird, um, is in it. And all of the people that they interviewed from the, the podcast are on the show. Mm. And to see what they look like, they all look like they're in their 40s, which is fucking weird. But they're all, all, all our age. I'm like, y'all didn't age. Yeah, well, well it's, yeah, it's probably because life has been really fucking hard. Yeah, except for the one the one woman that had the alibi. Who, did she, who was it? Damn it. What's her name? Asia. Asia McLean. Yeah, she's black straight. She's kind of fine. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but, but, um, I get it. They interviewed her. Uh, and like the, the rest of it, the, the last two episodes were, was his, his trial to try to get a retrial. Mm-hmm. They didn't give it to him. Like they, they, they won. Oh, wow. And then the higher coach is like, nah, fuck that. Mm. And I'm like, that's foul. Like, and it's this one like Indian dude. I don't know if he, well, he's, I don't know if he's Indian. His name is, I don't know what his name is, but he was running for um, <clears throat> attorney general or something like that. Okay. Um, but he was, he was, he took this case pro bono. Is his name start with like a T? It's something. I can't remember. That, if if it it's in Maryland, in Maryland. Yeah, right? it's, it's in Maryland. He's Indian. Yeah, I know you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, he, he yeah. took this case pro bono to keep that thing in prison. Wow. Yeah, really? He, to, to like argue oh, for the state. Hey, but like, there's a whole bunch of evidence that would, that, that says like he had nothing to do with it. But mm-hmm. he's like, they're, they're, he's keeping that, that uh, ruling that he, they, he's in jail for life. He never. Like he's got a life sentence. He's never gonna go. Yeah, for that shit. And it, and they yeah. say it's very very difficult to to overturn a life sentence when you've been committed when you've been convicted of murder in the first essentially. Like they said, he premeditated it, mm. but they had the DNA evidence. <clears throat> None of his DNA is in the car. They have his DNA on file now, but like they did DNA test in the car. None of it was there. Uh, there were certain things that that they found on the actual body. That would suggest that the remedy the guy, they said that they found a guy, the guy that found the body, uh, he worked in construction or concrete. Mm-hmm. There's this, she had like a diamond shaped, you have to watch it. It's, it's pretty, it's, it's wild. She had like a diamond shaped mark on her shoulder. And they said that this diamond shaped mark is caused by something that people in concrete work with, <laughs> which is really fucking weird. Not to say that he did it, but like he found the body and the guy that, the, the guy that like, I guess it works in Leakin Park and where the body was located. And the fact that this dude found it was like, nigga, that don't make sense. It just doesn't make sense that they found the body where it is, where in Leakin Park that it was. Cause like, it's not like you're just going to go off the beaten path and then all of a sudden, Oh, Hey, this body is sitting here. Like it, they said, it's really weird that he found it. Uh, they never looked into her boyfriend, Don, or if you remember him, yeah, the white yeah. dude, He's not like, he's like a cripple or some shit like that now. He's got some kind of disease. He's going to die soon. I don't know what it was, but they never looked into him and his alibi was that he was working, but his mom was the manager of the, of the lab. Yeah, <laughs> yo, it's yo, so, it's so fucking yeah. much. <laughs> like, on, they, they put that dude in prison because he was Muslim. That's 100%. Like, that's 100% yeah, accurate. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, whether it, you believe it was, he did it or not, yo, because it they was, put it him was, in jail because they... It was just after 9-11, right? It, like, it was no, like, no, it wasn't. It was before 9-11. It was, it was, 19, no. it was 99. Um, okay. They put him in jail because he was Muslim. Cops have a tendency... If, we've all seen the first 48, right? Yeah. Like, cops have a tendency to, like, to, to, to create a story... They want to get it done. So they can fucking just close their investigation. Yeah, yeah. And Jay was their go-to. Like you can't, you can't in, trust that like, guy. Essentially, during I his wouldn't. interview, like, and there was this one woman. She was also she was like a, a an assistant. She was uh, talking about the phone records. Like, as far, they had the cell tower records and shit mm-hmm. like that. Cell towers only work for outgoing calls. <laughs> she was like, cell towers only work for outgoing calls, and it says that on the cover sheet. AT and T gave them that information on the cover sheet. It says cell phone cell phone data only works for outgoing calls. All of the cell phone data that they, that they were using was for incoming calls to Jay that day. So that outgoing data does is not accurate. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. So the guy, so the, the cell phone expert or whatever they had back in 99, he wrote, uh, he wrote a letter 
uh, about two two years ago or three years ago for for Adnan saying like, yeah, my information was fucked up uh, in favor of Jay. And that was like their big thing. That's why they won their case to try to get him a new case. Yeah. But then when it went to the higher courts, like, of course, they don't want to they don't want to overturn convictions because they don't want to sound they don't want to be wrong. Um, God, that nigga's the, still in prison. Yeah, the justice system is <clears throat> fucking yeah, the crazy. Is fucking terrible. <laughs> it's fucked up. They, like one episode is called the justice. The justice system is arbitrary. <laughs> that's one. That's, that's the third I, episode. Yo, I'm serious. This is why I don't that's fuck around. Episode, this is why I don't yeah. fuck around. It's it's you should you should watch it. Like because like again, a lot of people think he did it, and a lot of people are going to think it's biased. Like when I listen to the podcast, I'm like, I don't think that nigga did it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Like, I don't think he did. Like, I think right. they just set that dude up because, again, like I know how the cops work. I don't like cops. We live in Baltimore. We know how the fucking cops work. Yeah, like they just wanted off their they just wanted off their books. That's a that's a fucking conviction that they have. They have a story and they'll do whatever they can. They they'll do whatever they can to make the story work in their favor. Yeah. And Jay was and it was literally his word against a Muslim, like a black dude against a Muslim dude, and he got two years probation. And he said he helped bury the body. What? Yeah, that's, that's literally crazy. what he got. Nah, yo, you gotta that go to jail for sense, years. Yo. Yo. Right. No, you gotta go to jail. That's for what years. they gave him. They gave him two years probation. <laughs> Nigga, come yeah, on, he did yo. that shit. Yeah, <laughs> like, again, I helped bury the again, body. It may be biased, but like all the information points that that nigga didn't do it. He just didn't. I'd like to hear somebody's unbiased account. Like, yeah, what kind like, what of guilty fuck? ass shit is that? <laughs> like, I don't know. We but definitely, it's... definitely, definitely, definitely didn't do it. <laughs> and then, uh, and then the it's other nuts. people that there, like Jay's friend Jen Pusateri, she was like, I remember he said he picked him, she he, she picked him up from somewhere from like the Best Buy, and like, no, she was like, no, nah, I picked that nigga up from fucking uh, West Side Shopping Center or some shit. Like, like it is weird to have like flyovers of like Woodlawn and just nah, driving. That's so street. weird. That's <laughs> like, so, so weird. bizarre. I'm like, I was just driving down that street yesterday. That's creepy. But whatever. All right, it's, I gotta watch. This is on HBO. It's right? on HBO. So okay. we're episodes an hour each. It's quick. It's a quick watch, right. but it's really good. Like it's. Like, it's strength as a result that he just didn't do it. Yeah. Like, and there's a, another dude is in prison for something he didn't do. You know what? Which I'm is fucked up. Tomorrow, I, I'm home. Um, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to get a nice big cup of coffee. And I'm going to sit down <laughs> with some breakfast. I'm going to watch that. Yeah, hell yeah. It's pretty good. good. It is actually pretty it's good. It's really good. All right. Um, I think we have really super exhausted yeah, the checked out section. But it was a really good fucking conversation. Yeah. Good. Um, science and tech this week. Um, artificial intelligence took a test, uh, took tests to detect lung cancer, and it beat doctors. Um, this is kind of an interesting story. So the New York Times has a story about how, like, basically radiology um, techs and, like, you know, and doctors... They 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 study these CT scans of people's lungs who they suspect may have cancer, right? And doctors are capable of looking at me like, "Yep, you're good, you know, no cancer." Or holy shit, like you're riddled with it, whatever. Um, but apparently, they have to generally look at like multiple scans, right? And there's so much data coming in, like they they doing so many scans and stuff like that. It's easy to miss things too. Yeah, right? And they're doctors, and they are they're up for the. Th- Fucking twenty seven. <laughs> right. Or I mean, or you're just human, and it's just like you miss it because you just miss it, right? Like yeah. it doesn't matter. Um, but apparently, this particular lung cancer causes 160 thousand deaths in the United States last year, and 1.7 uh, million deaths worldwide. Um, so what they did is they started using uh, neural networks, um, and they tested 6,716 cases of known diagnoses. Um, and their system, the the AI, was able to do ninety four percent accuracy. You know, they pro- they basically programmed these computers to understand what to look for, and they got ninety four percent accuracy, which was far and away higher than doctors. Now, once doctors got to see two different scans of the lungs, they were neck and neck with the AI. But if they only got to see one. Mm. They they vastly they got vastly beaten uh, by the AI. So, you know, artificial intelligence is obviously the future, um, and also obviously a big part of future medicine. So, the fact that they have so many cases of that, they may be able to identify lung cancer and probably other cancer um, at a much higher accuracy rate than we have now. In case they only get one scan, because sometimes you only get one scan because it's somebody remote or whatever. Um, but the but the AI can can do it to ninety four percent, which I'm sure can only get better just right. with time. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and anything to help 
people with cancer is a good thing, I would argue. Yeah. Um, so also the article basically was just like, stop smoking. <laughs> Right, I was about to say, like, stop fucking smoking. Like, please, just please, <laughs> just please stop. Like, like there's no, there's, there's, there's no benefit. Yeah, at all. there's zero. But I look cool, really. Yeah, well, Marlboro man looked cool when he was ripping his lung out. There. <laughs> he was like Fifty, like, knock it off. Um, uh, stupid slash weird tech. Uh, I don't have a new story, but I have an update from an old friend. You guys remember the Scarp, the laser razor? Yeah, I was gonna say, when, didn't up. we do this? Yeah, we did. So there was a there was a new update. They're still updating. They still haven't delivered. It's been two years. It's been two years since they put it out. That's interesting that you said two years. No, um, three. Uh, oh, Morgan. Four, sorry. Oh, four years. Yeah. Almost four. Yeah. Uh, Morgan uh, Gustafson, uh, the project <laughs> owner, um, says the current estimate um, for shipment is, quote, two years out. Um, which I guess he meant <laughs> two years. Two years. Um, yeah, so they're two years out from making this, still, after four years ago. Um, sounds like a lot of time, but trust me, it is. Development period for Anthem. It's. <laughs> He says it's twice as fast. He says it's twice as fast as global Fortune 500 companies trying to attempt similar projects. How, how do you know that? How do you, nigga, you don't know that. You're don't, six years stop behind. Making, stop making up shit. Don't beat up the messenger. Well, you're not the messenger, nigga. You're the owner. <laughs> yeah, you're the engineer. <laughs> you're right. You're the guy no. making the yeah, thing. No, that would be people beating us up for <laughs> right. telling them. <laughs> we are the messenger. Um, but Scarp is made on Indiegogo alone. It made a ton of money on uh, Kickstarter. Uh, I want to say in the millions. Um it's made five hundred and seven thousand dollars. People are still just really just gung ho about this thing. Huh? Yo, two, I shaved today. It took me a minute and a half. But imagine two years from now, Terrence, when you find out that it's two more years from now. How fast it could be? I don't, in, think, I don't, think, I don't think it took me a minute and a half. I think it maybe took me like forty five seconds. So, like, I so you, are you shaving with like a straight razor? Yeah, no, not a straight. I'm not, I'm oh, not a straight razor, but you like know what I mean. Like, 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 a a like a regular fucking razor, yeah. Yeah, I I bought one of those like uh, like one of the like precision ones they they use in a barbershop. Like yeah. like do your like fucking like when I used to have hair, um, do you you know your hairline and shit? I use that on my face. Yeah, shit takes like fifteen seconds. Yeah. What the fuck is this? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> but this has a laser again. This what is it gonna do? Fifteen seconds. Rip by my the way, face off. But by the way, all the reason why it took longer is because. I'm trying not to fuck it up. Yeah. Like it's not like it takes long to cut. This is technology that doesn't need to exist. One hundred percent. Twenty first century shaving. But the first ever razor powered by a laser. What do Why? I need a laser to shave my face for? It's gonna cut your is skin. It, is it like it's laser gonna cut surgery? Your skin. It's like burn you? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's gonna, gonna cut your skin. I mean, people get a laser to get to remove hair permanently, but like that's like a one time thing. Right. No, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's electrolysis is a number of sessions, but right. But yeah, so how many sessions it. are you gonna use with this thing? Then you get six and you just throw you just it away. Throw it in the fucking trash. You spend a hundred dollars on. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah, why don't I just get electrolysis and be done? <laughs> It'll take less than two years. I, I like get it done now. I like get it over. There's the, one. There's a place right down the road. Oh, is it? The way they're talking it's about this thing, it's like a little mini lightsaber, right? Like, mm-hmm. right, and then it just like you. You hold the concentrated laser beam over your face. Like, this isn't like, like, electrolysis is like, bam, we're closing the pores, right? Yeah, like, yeah. This is, this is, no, we're just gonna just cut it <laughs> with so a laser back. beam so that it'll grow back. No, yeah. it's, it's not, like, that's the whole point of using electrolysis. You don't want it to grow back. Right, like, right? Just, yeah, that's the point. Yo, what? So what the fuck am I buying this for? Is it, is it a lifetime guarantee? <laughs> Whenever it comes out. Whenever the laser comes out. Like, how does it work? Like, it's, a, it's like a it, fucking light, like it's it's a pow- lightsaber. It, it's, uh, it, it's, it's powered like by a, a, like a laser in a fucking loop. Is it powered by a Kyber crystal? <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's powered by a AAA battery. Like, <laughs> I mean, it probably is. <laughs> Look at the handle. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's a, that how probably, strong is that laser? Probably not a AAA battery looking at the handle. It might be like a pill battery. <laughs> <laughs> like the shit you put in your keys. Put in fucking, like a goddamn key uh, fob. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> this is a stupid ass yo, project. Y- 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 y'all are suckers, man. Yo, if you y'all bought a suckers. scarf, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> yo, it's for two hundred and eighty nine dollars. Yeah, yeah. People bought this. I'd be like, give me my money back. Well, where are you located? I'm gonna come beat everybody up in the scarf plant. No, you can't beat anybody up. You paid for it. No, nah, yo. No, I can. I'm nah, gonna beat you're everybody. You I'm gonna it, you're an idiot. Yo, I'm gonna beat two hundred and eighty nine dollars <laughs> out of everybody working working in that establishment. Yo, they're out there drinking your money away, yo. <laughs> they are. It's like the guy who said, Oh, I'm gonna build a wall, give me the money. That nigga bought a yacht with your money. You <laughs> fucking idiots. <laughs> That's funny. Good. They deserved it. Stupid. Um, one one comment, Morgan. It's been more than four years and not even close to finishing your project. Let's be honest; it's not working anymore. So just give us our money back. <laughs> we have families and we need money. Please refund our money. <laughs> Morgan says, <laughs> "Yeah, he started laughing." <laughs> As much as we look, as much as we look forward to ship you a great device and regret so still uh, in a future, uh, we <laughs> ain't claim we ain't claim responsibility for the support of your family. Who does not need one hundred fifty nine dollars? I feel you, but I can't change reality, nigga. I would be so <laughs> mad, yo. I'm mad for you, yo. I can't, yo, this nigga was just like. Sorry, Sorry. <laughs> sucks to be you. Next time, don't give a stranger one hundred fifty dollars, dummy. <laughs> yo, uh, yo, yo, don't tell yo, me this. Yo, hilarious. yo, he is sitting. He is he is responding to your message while drinking a very expensive martini, laughing yo, his ass off. Yo, I'd be so pissed. Responsibility yo. for supporting your family. God damn. Shouldn't have given us that one Who doesn't need $159? I feel you. <laughs> he was like, I mean, I don't need it. You, I nigga. don't need it because I got 500 grand from you morons who bought a laser razor. Oh, but can't change reality. God damn. That's, that's, yo, this guy's a fucking asshole. <laughs> yo. This guy's a piece of shit. <laughs> All right, yo. Morgan, your fundraising goal on Kickstarter was uh, $160,000. You got over $500,000 from us, now claiming that it's Kickstarter's fault uh, that you didn't succeed because they didn't give you the $4 million initially raised uh, as a Is set. $4 million? Set, yeah, four, yeah. I told you, dude. I told, million, yeah, I told you, dude. It was, a ton of, it was a ton of money. Damn. David, you connected the dots, not I. Thank you. Or did you get that from... Red Redstit or any other equally enlightened forum. Do you seriously think that eight or or uh, one eighth of our money, eight times or one eighth of our money, matters in a startup? Uh, on top, uh, a trolling and media. Ma- ma- what, yo, yo, fucking look, look! If you're gonna, if you're gonna troll people, can you at least give them respect of trolling them in English? <laughs> God damn! <laughs> yo, what the fuck? In any case, this guy's thanks, my favorite person. In any case, thanks for the attention span. Maybe Scarp fails at some point. Nom promises that it will. Nom promises that it will not. <laughs> apostrophe. Period. <laughs> At present, we are carefully confident, <laughs> hopeful, and still in making shaving great again mode. Fuck you, yo. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah. Yo, this guy's a piece of shit. Wait, yo, did he actually write, make shaving make great shaving again? Yes. Great again, wow. <laughs> yo, <laughs> y'all on, gave yo. this dude 289 <laughs> of your real American dollars. That is amazing. You yeah. fools. Yeah, y'all got I gotta fucking, close the story. Yo, y'all got fucking. Story. Oh, look, look. I spent forty dollars on a French press. I'll never get. <laughs> I don't even check on yeah. Kickstarter anymore. Yeah. Oh, oh, the boat from China is moving too slow. The water's too heavy, or whatever bullshit. <laughs> I heard last time. I was like, all right, yeah, all right. Like, whatever, yeah, I was fine. like, you know what? Enjoy the beers on me. It's been fun. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I know I'm not getting it. I don't even bother going into the comments oh or fucking God, responding. Yo, this Who cares? Why? Yo, right, look, this yo, one. make shaving great again is what he said. <laughs> wow. Yo. Can servers don't give a fuck about you. Thanks for your money, <laughs> dumbass. Alright, the nerdpocalypse.com slash Amazon. Use that link uh, before you go to Amazon. Uh, we get a little bit of a kickback. Uh, we're going to use that money that we get back to buy a bunch of laser razors <laughs> because we don't care about your money. We're going to make podcasting burn. great again, guys. 
You ever yeah. say that? I swear to God, I'm fucking told you. <laughs> <laughs> I will stab you on this show. Um, but do that. Uh, Thenerdpocalypse.com slash Amazon. Wow, yo. Yo, that dude is a, tr- is a fucking dick. <laughs> like, yeah, he really is. I want to punch that guy right in his fucking face. <laughs> Yeah, but I bet it's freshly shaved because of all the laser razors. What, he's doing. what if he's got a beard? <laughs> I hope he does. <laughs> yeah. No, he's like, yo, I don't even use razors. Yeah, fuck out of here. He's like, yo, I use Dollar Shave Club. What are you talking about? <laughs> They're reliable. <laughs> you sending us money for you, morons. Yo, I'm going to see if I can find a picture of him. All right, y'all go ahead. I'm all right, lie to you around, Terrence. <laughs> yo, he got a beard. I guarantee he does. Oh, no, he doesn't. Damn it. Oh, he doesn't. I'm, if this is the guy, he doesn't. Um, damn, <laughs> I was looking up Morgan Gustafson. Uh, first up, <clears throat> what it is, as soon as it loads. Uh, first uh, look first at first look at Star Wars Episode Nine: Rise of the Skywalker. Uh, these images are dope. Yeah, they're from Variety Magazine, I believe, or excuse me, Vanity Fair. Um, yeah, I'm not a Star Wars person, so what do you have <laughs> Yeah, look, the, the images of Kylo Ren and Rey fighting what seems like on some sort of, like, water situation, waterfall, <laughs> water planet, I don't know. Looks dope. Um, Carrie Russell playing a character named Zori Bliss. That costume looks really fucking cool. Apparently, she might be like a bounty hunter of some sort. Um, yeah, there's some really, just really great photos. Um, I think it looks good. C-3PO is back, of course, and um, BB-8. Um, uh, a new ally named Jaina Nomi uh, Eki, or Aki, um, is, uh, many fans are speculating that's um, Lando Calrissian's daughter. Why is she going to be Lando Calrissian's daughter? Because black people are all related. Like, like, <laughs> like can't she just be a new character? Yeah, yeah she could just, be. Can't she just be a new... Please just be a new character. I hope she's just a new character. But if she is, if you're going to relate everyone, then she should find out that uh, her brother is the other black character. <laughs> because that's how that works. Um, oh, yeah, that's fine. And then we see Billy D. Williams um, not driving a Bentley, but still, uh, still looking good. <laughs> Well, good for you. Uh, and uh, Luke Skywalker's in it. Hmm. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, he's going to have a role, I'm sure. Yeah, he has to now. Yes. Everybody cried. Yeah, because you can't handle Wah, death. This isn't this isn't the, this isn't what I wanted. This isn't the theory I wanted. I wanted old ass Mark Hamill to do some fucking kung fu jujitsu shit because that's what I've always wanted to see. Yeah, and then and I, I hated when Yoda and I hated like, when Yoda man. did it. That was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you people don't know what you like. Want. Can you imagine if he did that? It would look like, ridiculous. It would look like Neo from the second Matrix movie. <laughs> oh good lord! <laughs> <laughs> that rubber man, terrible. fucking rubber band man. Yeah, not good. Not good, but these images look very good. So, all right. Um, I, you know, the funny thing is, I'm not excited for this, and it's not because of the movie. I'm not excited because of the fandom. (laughs) That's fucked up. The fact that (laughs) I am, like that, you just like you're just not looking forward to how the fans are gonna bitch and complain about a movie. That's a hundred percent true. That's a hundred percent true. I just uh, like I feel like I'm just gonna put myself in a box. (laughs) Yeah, two weeks before, but two weeks before the movie comes out. And then two weeks after, because I just don't want to hear anybody's thoughts on it. I just don't want to hear anybody. I just want to talk to people who actually enjoy things. That's, yeah. that's the one good thing about, one of the good things Glad about. Game of Thrones is over. That's one of the good things about, Shut you up. know, being able to see these movies a couple of days ahead of time. Is that you can watch this movie with generally people who are not necessarily. They like film. Want, yeah, they just like film, yeah. right? They don't immediately shit on something before they get in right. and you could just watch it without all that you know what i mean without all that noise that's yeah. gonna bombard you with it yeah. like I, i'm not excited for it yet i'll get excited for, it's too far out it comes out what christmas something like that yeah. i'll get excited at, you know at this at the latter half of the year Look, there's nothing. There's nothing that I love trailer, more. Like a, a better, like a a trailer, trailer. I thought the trailer was fine. I mean, but I'm not a like teaser. doing like a backflip over, over a fucking. <laughs> yeah, she did, a, she did an impossible right. backflip. Like uh, I'm fine with it, but uh, I'm not like it came out like up leading up to the end game hype. Like I, you yeah, know, my brain was too focused on. Yeah, that. I'm stupid, yo. I can only focus on one <laughs> thing at a time. Um, I only have time for one type of space wizard, not two types of space wizard. <laughs> right. So, but I'll get excited for this uh, 
you know, probably when like the second trailer drops. Yeah, I'm I'm just I'm just gonna put myself into a like hermetically sealed device. I, I just I just don't care about anybody's hot takes. I, I'm I'm tired. <clears throat> Goddamn young people <laughs> ruining everything. Um, next up, uh, Lucasfilm president cast doubt on future Star Wars spinoffs. Um, uh, Kathleen Kennedy says, quote, I think there's a large expectation that Disney has um, on uh, on the other hand, though, I think Disney is very respectful of what this is. And right from the beginning, we talked about the fragility of the form of storytelling because it's something that means so much to the fans that it, uh, that you can't turn this into some kind of factory approach. Um, you can't even do what Marvel does necess- necessarily uh, where you pick characters and build new franchises around those characters. Uh, this needs to evolve differently. I agree with that, actually. Um yeah, you can't you can't just do like oh we're gonna do Ray and then just expand out or we're gonna do you know Phasma and expand out or something like that. It just doesn't really work. Um, I'm fine with that. I don't need any spinoffs. Um, if you want to do them, I think they should be. I think they should. I think they should take a, a page out of Marvel's book and just do like a six part thing on Disney Plus. I don't think you need a movie. For everything, I don't. I think people got really jaded because Solo didn't do great, but I never thought Solo needed to exist. Yeah, I didn't hate it, but it was just like yeah. people like Han Solo just fine, but they like Harrison Ford. That's yeah. what they really like, and I don't understand why they thought that that would work without him. Yeah, nobody really cared about Han Solo's backstory, did they? No, like because all that shit, you know, it doesn't matter. Like, he's never been, like, a backstory. Like, he's never been a hold-on-to-the-past kind of guy. No, he literally is just like, fuck right. the past. Like, right. Like, just go. Go for it. So, if, you, if your main character is like, fuck the past, well, then I don't want to see <laughs> his fucked-up past. Like, right. let's just, let's just again, keep it going. Yo. Again, Solo, you know, some people are like, this is the worst thing. Ever. It's not, no. It, no, it, it's not it, bad. No. It's a Star Wars movie. Yeah, I look, I'd still watch it before I watch the prequels again. <laughs> I'll tell you that those movies are trash. I love the 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 fucking retconning that George Lucas's prequels are really good. Like, no, they weren't. Like, don't 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 do that. <laughs> like, don't lie. Wait, to you were saying those movies were good because all I've heard was that those movies are terrible. Oh no! Until no. the Last Jedi came out, then that was worse than the prequels, according to people who are full of shit. Yeah, who are people, full of shit and don't know anything about movies well, or writing. And people, people, you know, the Shut Clone up. Wars, the Clone Wars television show is. Really good. That's and, fine. And I think people are conflating that with the prequels. You know what I mean? Right. Like they're or conflating they're so it with shooting. like Mr. Jar Jar Binks. Like, nah, yo, <laughs> knock it the fuck off. Knock it the fuck off. They're better. That was the prequels are better. Yo, go watch real movies ever, please. <laughs> no, shut up. Stop lying. Like I, you can dislike something without lying about other elements of it. You can stop. Like you don't have to do that. I need to say I need to take the most extreme stance to just prove a thing that I don't like. Or you can just not like it. It's okay. You can just say I don't like this. It's fine. Nobody thinks those prequels are good. No one, unless you were born after like 1995, and it's the first Star Wars shit you saw. Because uh, kids are stupid. Yeah, I can't <laughs> wait to not show him those prequels. <laughs> No, don't ever show your son those prequels. No. Knock it off. Mm-mm. No. Don't need to. No. Like, Dad, weren't there other ones? What? Don't talk. Don't sass me. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you introduce him to the melanin the melanated side of your hand. Don't talk to me. About <laughs> <laughs> what about episode one? Go to your room. <laughs> no. I have, uh, uh, no. no I have them. <laughs> I'm just gonna worry about it. Lost them. <laughs> they lost them. I think they're on Disney Plus. Boy, if you don't go to your room. <laughs> boy. Are you going to call your son boy? This is, uh, as a general. I will, I will refer to him as a child. Like, I'm not one of those people that's going to be like, oh, he's my little man. He's my man, my little man. Like, no, he's not a man. He's a boy. Because if if I start calling him a man, he'll start thinking he's a man. And then when he grows up to be a man, no, I'm serious, yo. When he grows up to be a man, he'll still have like like childish tendencies and shit. You know what I mean? Like you are a fucking psychopath. Nah, yo, I'm dead serious about that shit, yo. What? So what are you, what are you gonna refer to him as? Uh, his my son or son or his name? 
He's got a fucking name. I'm gonna call him his name. Why don't you just call him boy? Like you just put him on your back. No, and you guys go on Kratos. Yeah, you go on your Viking adventures. Boy. Yo, Kratos is not a good father figure, yo. I don't. Yes, don't he take is. Your fucking don't take your parenting advice from a goddamn video game, especially Kratos of all people. Like he the is. only reason he's not raging out is because he's fucking old now. That's it. But then that guy was a fucking bastard in his twenties. But didn't and he that is his family. Forties. Yeah, yeah. No, he murdered his family. Yeah, he murdered his family. His first family. Yeah, because he wanted yeah. power. Fuck you, yo. Wait, he killed his own family on purpose? Yeah, apparently Ares made him kill his family. Ares. Oh, okay. So he was about to lose a he was about to lose a battle, and because his millennial punk ass doesn't know what it's like to lose, he was like, Ares, please give me the power to slay my enemies. And Ares was like, if I do this, you're gonna be my bitch. He's like, I don't give a fuck, yo. I just really need to kill this barbarian, yo. So he was like, all right, bam, here you go. And he killed the barbarian, and he became Ares' bitch. And Ares was like, yo. I want you to go fuck them people up over there. He's like, ah, oh, I'm gonna fuck you up, yo. And then he just ran through a village, right? Fucking people up. And then he killed his family. He was like, oh shit. I fucking killed my wife and child, yo. This is your fault, Aries. Like, no, yeah, no, he no the bitch. Ashes of his family. That's why he's white. Right. Yeah, it's just. So a, then he's like, I gotta go ahead and kill Aries. Well, I gotta kill Aries because family. this is Aries' fault. This is Aries' <laughs> fault, and I'm a punk bitch. <laughs> Yeah, Fuck you, yo. Yeah, that seems, like, that seems like a poor choice. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Next up. Uh, Kung Fury 2 is going to star Michael Fassbender and Arnold Schwarzenegger because why the fuck not? Look, yeah. let me just say this. <laughs> look, look, let me no, just Michael say it. Yo, yo, shut your mouth, yo. Just shut your mouth for a second. All right, shut yo. your mouth. All right, just shut, this shit. Yeah, shut your go mouth. Ahead, go ahead. Continue. Look, Continue. Brad, if you write to me, I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> I'm going to fight you, yo. Yo, what the fuck, yo? Look, here's the thing. I liked Kung Fury 1. It was fun. It was stupid. It was fun. fun. It was stupid fun. It got 32 million views on YouTube, yeah. apparently. Um, yo, why Why is Michael Fassbender in... You know what? You know what it tells me? Michael Fassbender is just like... He's like a regular guy. He's like, I saw that on YouTube. It was fun. That was fun. <laughs> fuck it. I'll be in that movie. Like, okay. And Schwarzenegger just old. He yeah, doesn't I, give a fuck. Yeah. But you know what? I, like, I'm actually not mad at this, like, like in all seriousses, because it's kind of just goofy fun. Um, no, I'm not mad at it. I'm not oh, mad at it. Just, I just find it hilarious. It's just fucking weird. It's just super weird. I find it really, really funny. <laughs> uh, look, I'll see it. I I enjoyed the shit out of the first one. This yeah, guy the first is one is like nonsense. Assassin's Creed song to song. Alien Covenant, yes. The Snowman, Ooh. Dark Phoenix, <laughs> yo, that, yo, Kung yeah. Fury. Yo, have you seen The sm- Snowman yet? No, I haven't. Nah, it's yeah, called, no, I it's think called The see. Snowman. I think yeah. you should see it. It's no. called The Snowman. Oh, by the way, The Snowman, it, that should be the title of like a really trashy like drug movie. Like black drug movie. Like like The Plug. <laughs> the Snowman. The s- <laughs> 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 yeah, oh, Hype so Williams cool. should direct The Snowman, I, yeah, starring yeah. DMX. I would see that movie. And, I wouldn't and, enjoy it, but I'd and, see no, it. What's his name? What's the and fucking a, dude with the wild hair now? <clears throat> Rapper, hip hop. God damn it, Kodak Black. Nah, he's actually pretty. Oh, good. oh, Pusha T. No, you know, Logic. Um, shut up. <laughs> with the wild hair and his oh, name Kendrick is Lamar. And his name is Harry Hole, yo. Yeah, like I can't, I can't. Harry Hole. Nah, yo. Nah. <laughs> that's what, that's yo, what it's supposed yo, to be. Terrence and I saw that screener. That shit was so young bad. Jeezy. Oh, he young Jeezy. About the snowman. Okay. All right. He's, he's just, just Jeezy. He's, he's just head. He's just Jeezy now. Yeah, isn't yeah, whatever. Yo, his yeah, name like, is Harry Hole, yo. Yo, that's, that's not a good movie. Unfortunate. Dude. Like they called him Harry Hole in the fucking movie. Yeah, it's supposed, it's supposed to be Hole, but they were like fuck it, Hole. Yeah, because Val Kilmer's weirdly in it. Yeah, he and his voice is ADR. Yeah, this is bad. Yo, yeah. Val Kilmer looked like he just shouldn't be alive. I think he in had cancer. Movie. I think he had yeah, cancer. Something. Yeah, he just looked terrible. He looked bad. Movie. Good lord. So um, yeah, Kung Fury, Kung Fury two. I never watched Kung Fury. You should. It's like thirty minutes. It's it's foolishness. It's yeah, fun though. It but seems like it's like eighties foolishness. Yeah, it is. It is. It, it, exactly it is eighties. But it's not remember like Blood Dragon. Yeah, it's that. It's essentially that. All right. Well, I've played Blood Dragon, so I've seen Kung Fury. I, don't really see this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's like Tyrannosaurus Rex. There's Hitler. Like it's, it's dumb as fuck. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's wild, stupid. All right, but it's on YouTube. Yeah. All right, give it thirty-two million and one views. <laughs> All right. All right. 
Mm. No. Uh, any, anyway, <laughs> and on to another dumb fucking. <laughs> Next up, uh, John Wick creator writers to help launch Just Cause video game adaptation. No, I support this. Do you? Have you played Just Cause? No, but I've seen the videos. It looks great. Does it? I mean, no, it's, it's fun to play. If, like, look, if they, 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 they you got to go all the way the fuck out. Yeah, look. They just got to lean directly into the fucking tornado. Yeah, because yeah. there are tornadoes in Just Cause 4. Yeah. You gotta, yeah, no, that's fine. You got <laughs> to wingsuit right into that tornado. No, that's what I want. Like, yeah. I don't want them to take this easy. They need to start at Fast and the Furious 8. <laughs> Right, and like yeah. right, like yeah, you they don't to build work, up. They, to this. they need to work. They need to, to start at shop Hobbs, Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah, no, that's about yeah. right. Right, and that's then just what I'm go from there. However the fuck they do it, whatever. I don't know. I'm very curious to see. Is uh, he going to have his grappling hook? He has to. Yeah. He has to. One hundred wingsuit. He, he has to. I mean, he's going to surf a car. Game. Like he's got again. Game. All of these, and it has to happen in some like little small Mexican town. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Hey, it's got to be Rico Rodriguez. Sorry, yep. Keanu Reeves, you can't do this. Yeah, this is one you can't do. Yes, it's got to be Rico Rodriguez. You got to give. You got to spread the love around, man. Yeah, I'm fine with that. You know, you got to give. Uh, Who would direct this? What's his name? What's the dude? What's the guy? The like the uh, John Wick guy? F. Gary Gray. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, what's his name? Analog. Um, Quentin Tarantino. The guy who's working for Quentin Tarantino. Robert Rodriguez. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. That's super Mexican. He, he <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't yeah. be perfect. No, he would be perfect nonsense. for this because one, it needs to be it needs to be mad Latino, yeah. and it needs to be over the top as fuck. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. Yeah, whatever. I mean, look, that game is is ridiculous. You can tether cars to fucking planes. Yeah, I, I saw where you can tether someone like to the ground where they're like jerking off and then blow them up. <laughs> like it, like the videos of tethering yeah, is hilarious. You can tether shit to, to whatever. Yeah, You can have six tethers at the same time if you want because games. <laughs> because <laughs> yeah. Like, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, like look, again, like like we talk, what, what movie were we talking about? Um, Saints Row. Yeah. Right, right, right. Like That'd if they're gonna, like they're either gonna have to be grounded or just go where they were flying in Saints Row Four. <laughs> Pick <laughs> one. Like I'm, he's I gonna go, have to fly in this movie. Look, here's the thing. I go with four. Saints Row Four. <laughs> like, like, like I'm all, again. It's like comic book movies. I'm already here for the insanity of it all. Just yeah. give that to me. Yeah. Yeah, and just be like, I don't know. This exists. People have superpowers. Fuck it. Next. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, yeah. fine, whatever. We'll see if it even comes out. I mean, it's got the potential for like really, really unique action. You know, yeah. like sh- sh- shit that I've never movies. seen before. Right. So, like you said, if they lean into it, great. If it's just you know this one guy trying to stop a uh, an evil dictator, I mean, just normally, with yeah, guns. Nah, fuck that. That's nah, not gonna. That's, that's not special enough. You gotta fly, yo. This is yeah. not just cause. Yo. Yeah, no, I, I don't you have to have a a built in wingsuit on your jacket. Yeah, yeah, that you can just call <laughs> anytime. You have to have a grappling hook attached to your to your fucking wrist because that's how life works. Like yeah. that's that's don't worry why about the game blowing your shoulder out all that's the time. That's the game's biggest mechanic. That's why the game is called Just Cause. Like, <laughs> why the fuck is he doing all this? Shit? Yeah, just cause. Just cause. Yeah. What, what, and wait, by the way, it's, I think it's spelled wrong. It should be just C U Z. Yeah, C U Z. Just cause, yo. I don't know. I don't know. Just because, bro. I, whatever. Look, That's fine. The games are ridiculous. Like, if they lean into the ridiculousness, I got to see a trailer. Just show me a trailer. Yeah. I think, but I think you're, I do think you're right. Robert Rodriguez is the perfect yeah. choice for them. Yeah. Only to see a trailer. Uh, next up, Lionsgate is going to do a John Wick Chapter 4. No shit. Yeah. Uh, uh, the I way Chapter 3 ends. I, I, I need to no see one. Chapter 3. The way Chapter 3 ends. Yeah. There's going to be a Chapter 4. And Jack is 100% right. Um, Keanu Reeves is really good, but you getting up there. Yeah, he can't be running free. Yeah, he can't be running around like that. He's you know. getting up there, and he's kind of like, okay, like they even kind of play it, play because some of the Ray guys are fighting him just because they like fighting the John Wick, right. and and Keanu Reeves is like, all right, okay, guys, all right. <laughs> give me a second, all right, all right, <clears throat> okay. Let's go. <laughs> right? And they kind of write that into the script. But... Does anyone have any orange slices? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they would beat the brakes of a 53-year-old man. <laughs> You're knocking off. No, yeah, he's older would. than my mother. God damn. He's a year older than my mama. That, That's uh, crazy. And he still looks like he's like 
You don't have 35. <laughs> I'm, I'm very curious to see how inventive they get with John Wick 4. Because John Wick 3 is kind of like the a, a, a mix of John Wick 1 and 2. Mm-hmm. Uh, whereas 1, I think, is just perfect. And 2 just got up its own ass. Ugh, three, I hate it. Three I just kind of. I hate two. It just wasn't as good as the first. One. Oh, so fucking boring. It feels like two was made specifically to set up three, and then three is just fucking action, like all over the place. Like he kills a motherfucker with a library book, yo. Yeah, <laughs> a library that. book. Good, good. Some people gotta die. And horses and dogs, yo. Like, like those fucking they, the Halle Berry has some German shepherds, and there's a whole scene dedicated don't, to. Yeah, just, I was gonna say, don't ruin that for me. To just Halle Berry and German shepherds, and it is. There's no way I can ruin it for you because it is. It makes you want to have a dog. It does. <laughs> it makes me want to have a dog. Wow, because even Jack <laughs> said that he was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah it kind of does." Yeah. Like, all right, I, I get, get it. it. Yeah, you get it. <laughs> like if I can. I get it. So, yeah. That will be a John Wick 4. I'm fine with it. By the way, uh, I'm looking up times. Uh, here's what I'm going to do tomorrow, because I ain't going to work. I'm going to watch John Wick 3 and Brightburn. I'm doing a double feature. <laughs> I'm doing a double feature. Fuck out of here. Yeah, nice Man, I ain't doing. doing one of them in a long time. Yeah. Damn. I'm going to go see John Wick. Uh, let's see. Should I go horror action first? I mean, you know, horror first. Uh, yeah. And then ended up with some wild action. Yeah, because I know John Wick 3 is good. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if Brightburn is good. <laughs> yeah, do yeah. horror first. Like, I saw a Red Band trailer for Brightburn. You might want to get that out the way. Nigga, that shit was a fucking that, wild. That, yo, that woman was. Like, yo, I was like, please, yo, I was like, please stop close up on her eye with a piece of glass. Shit, yo, I don't do like that. <laughs> yo, that scene, I was just like. They got yeah. so much eye shit that they oh. show it from her perspective, and the sh- and her perspective is just red. Yeah, it was fucked. But then they show oh, like you know, her pulling you know, it out, and yeah, you can see like, like yeah. the brown of her eye coming out. I was like, oh, a little, a little oh. bit of, there's a little bit of eye shit in John Wick three too. Good. Oh, <laughs> oh look, a double feature. It, it, look, it's got a theme. It's got a, <laughs> double, a double feature of eye shit. <laughs> Like what? I don't, I don't know why. Yo. I could go see Brightburn at twelve thirty, and then uh, <laughs> John Wick is John like two Wick. hours and thirty minutes, right? Like two, two, ten, two eleven, it's like two years, yeah, like two oh, ten something. Bright, like oh, perfect. The Brightburn like it's tight one, tight one thirty. That's a tight one thirty one. There you go. Boom. I go see Brightburn twelve thirty. Boom. I'm right out. I'm ready to go see John Wick. Perfect. <laughs> yep. That's what I'm doing tomorrow. <laughs> Fuck work. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, that's that's my memorial day celebration. I'll probably go see John Wick this weekend. Perfect. Um, all right, movie and TV news this week. Um, there was a clip released. I'm very excited, guys. So, clip released for X Men Dark Phoenix, or just Dark Phoenix. Um, that got released today. I don't know about you, but this looks absolutely terrible. Um, Your yeah, suits look like. Just trash. Yo, Sansa looks so unhappy to be there. <laughs> she, she was, was apparently. Yeah, you know, she was like, yo, I just want to be the queen of the north. <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> reportedly said that this was not uh, a good experience for her. Well, she also said she had made a comment um, that uh, um, she did not enjoy working with um, Brian Singer. Singer. Yeah. yeah, she said she felt very uncomfortable. It's like because he's a pedophile. oh yeah, creeps will do that to you. Yeah, he's a yeah, pedo. You can smell it on him. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Beto. Um, so in this clip, one, they're wearing the worst suits. Um, somehow they manage they they manage to give the X Men suits and then just make them look worse than the leather suits that they gave them in previous films, uh, which they're is wearing hilarious. cotton. Yeah, <laughs> cotton breeze, Terrence. Cotton breeze. Uh, they all look like shit. Um, even though they all had individual different costumes and at the end of the last movie, but they were like, nah, we can't do that in this movie. That would be stupid. It's not like the fans want that. Okay. God, Marvel's going to do such a better job at this. Um, I bet Sophie Turner really regrets uh, jumping on this now. Um, so they are informed that they have to do a, 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 a snatch and grab in space to help some, some NASA uh, astronauts. The scene is three minutes and 19 seconds, and it literally goes something like this. X-Men walk in, 
Mystique is like, we got to go to space, grab these people. Quicksilver's like, I have a million questions. Mystique, we don't have time for questions. Immediately they get into the Blackbird, um, which I don't think looks nearly as good as it did in the original movies. Um, They fire off into space. By the way, going into space, they just take a regular ass plane. But okay, it's fine. But it's I mean, it's comics. Whatever. It's like, that's fine. That's fine. Um, and they're immediately in space. By the way, 45 seconds in, we're going to space. I have questions. No time question. Space. And they just, they're in space. There's no cutting. That's just how it fucking happens. Yo, that's got to be just a poor trailer cut. No, yeah, no, it it's a, a it's a movie clip. It's a clip like, no, from the no, actual no, fucking it, movie. Yeah, it can't be. It can't be. Yo, can't. It can't be. I was like, nah, it can't be. No, I refuse to believe that. That's the shit. No, they did. They did I'm fifteen right no, things. No, no. They did fifteen things in forty-five seconds. No, this is a trailer cut. <laughs> yeah. This by the way, by the way, they go into space wearing the same clothes that they wore when they were just hanging out on Earth. They don't have well, space they, helmets. They don't need space helmets because it's the Blackbird. Right? No, but but Terrence, Nightcrawler and Quicksilver need space helmets because, because they go they're into going the... to save people from a damaged spaceship, and all of those people have helmets on. Right, right. which I assume is because they're being exposed right. to space. Is it because Quicksilver moves so fast he doesn't have to worry about? He can just hold his breath. Well, what the fuck? Well, Nightcrawler though. Doesn't Nightcrawler? Wait, 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 wait. Before we even continue, doesn't Nightcrawler need to see? Where he yeah he's got to see Shut where the he fuck up with your questions like, I'm, like I'm not a huge comic book guy but I recall in the other movies they said that he says I have to see where I have to have been somewhere before I actually go there so technically he was on that spaceship before right no he yeah for him to teleport yes. to that spaceship <laughs> right and he knows exactly the distance. Right, right. Because they're to, moving. He's to, been there before. Yeah. He has to have been there before, or he has to see, see where he's going. So that they so like, that he well, can they like stop in front of the spaceship, and so he look, <laughs> he look at the cockpit. Look at the rear view mirror. Like, yeah, <laughs> and then they just teleport. <laughs> Is that how that works? Yo, you don't even follow. Like, you don't even <laughs> follow this shit. You don't even follow this shit, and you just did a better job of writing this goddamn movie. They don't believe in. They don't believe in paying they attention to their own movies. Continuity, apparently. No, they care zero. By the way, and Quicksilver can stop time, right? Yeah, he's the most point, he powerful mutant ever. Time. Yeah. By the way, he also is super fast in zero gravity. Yeah. How the fuck does that work? <laughs> what friction is he using? <laughs> right. <laughs> the friction of like his good looks. What the fuck are we talking about here? Like you see him, you see him push off of 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 uh, of, of one of the people, but then it's like, but then he turns around and just kind of flies over. Like it, it doesn't make any sense. Like Whoa. if he's that fast, he technically could have like flew into the spaceship himself, right? Here's my question: Why the fuck are the other X Men there? What you gonna do? What's, what's Storm? I mean, what's Storm mean, gonna you, do? You, what's Cyclops gonna do? Face. I mean, she's the weather app, right? Like, <laughs> AccuWeather. <laughs> she's essentially what the forecast, right? Like, she's. <laughs> what she gonna do? Make it rain? Dark. Like, <laughs> bitch, ain't no. Hey dance. Storm, can you do something about that sun? Not really. Nah. <laughs> like, nah, can you help nah, with the solar flare? I, we, we, I mean, that ain't really. A, that, I mean, that like that's not like, really on the know, forecast control, today. Like, I control fucking. I mean, like, I control like, like Earth weather anomalies. I control rain and snow. Can you help with climate change? Well, that's climate. That's not weather. <laughs> <laughs> Those are they're different. <laughs> Yo, why is she there? Why is Cyclops there? We can use a concussive fucking laser right. for what? <laughs> Yeah, maybe I can help, guys. No, you really can't. We only need Nightcrawler. Yeah, there's awesome. a big fuck. There's a hole in this goddamn thing. Right. So how is he breathing? How is, <laughs> how is his bare skin exposed to the the vacuum of space? How does he not just blow the fuck up or just freeze to death? Yeah. yeah I, and here's the other thing. Okay. I mean, I've seen Guardians like, of the Galaxy. Hey, Jesus it Christ! Takes a Cotton piece. breathes, guys. It <laughs> breathes. Does it? So did he make them all touch Nightcrawler? Yeah. So Nightcrawler teleported and then instantly teleported back. But before he te- instantly teleported back, what's his name? Stopped time and got everybody together. and got everybody to touch him so they can get back onto the to the Blackbird. But how does he? By the way, Wait a but, but hold on. He speaks in the spaceship. Do you know? Like we had this muted, 
But Quicksilver, no, like, oh, let, let me go ahead and do all of it. whatever. Whatever right. he says said. something in the spaceship, exposed the space, and somehow I guess Nightcrawler was like, "Yeah, Roger that. I heard you." <laughs> That's not how space works. <laughs> And now, granted, I understand this is a comic movie, but at least have some level of ability to ground it in some part of reality. Wait, I have a question. I didn't watch the last movie, but I've read I, about I it. I really yeah. need you to. I really yeah, need you to. I did watch we it. need to sit down and watch it together, buddy, <laughs> as friends, as real friends. I, I've, I've read about fuck it. Fuck you. <laughs> And I, I, I read and, about it, and and this is and this this clip is playing, which I it, it continues to play, which I guess you see the solar flare hit the ship and like give Jean Grey some sort of uh, sun Don't, orgasm, right? I, I swear to God, if you ask the question, I think you're gonna. I'm gonna fucking punch you in the mouth. Go ahead. Like, <laughs> I don't know what the question. I know is. exactly what his question is. Can I do like? What? Can I do like a Johnny Carson thing? Can I write it down and show it to the audience? <laughs> I know what it is. Go ahead. But didn't the end of the movie? She was in the of the other movie. She, yeah, she was, was already. already, she already yeah, had yeah, yeah. Like, come yeah. here, let me punch you in the face. <laughs> yeah. Stop asking dumbass questions Yo. that make total sense. Yeah. She already's got the fucking Phoenix Force, my nigga. That's how she beat Apocalypse in the last. Yeah, 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 that's she how she did. beat him, right? Yeah, literally, she was like, ah, and a bird came out. <laughs> and she walked out on an invisible bridge, and she fucking became Dark Phoenix. Yeah, literally, because apparently she could walk on air. Yeah. Oh, and it looked like she was literally walking shit. on something they just cut on out a platform. Yeah, like, it was so terrible. God damn, the movie sucks. Yo, I... you really, you, dude. Look, look. One day, you guys just come over on a Saturday, and we'll just sit and watch it. Look, and I just, I'm just gonna videotape your response of like, <laughs> look. The only what? way I'm gonna watch this is if we we are able to do some sort of mystery science theater. No, we have to. Like we have to. One hundred percent. We talked about that. Yeah, hundred percent. Because ain't no way I'm spending my time. Uh, look, I will watch this for y'all. That's it. <laughs> Oh no! I don't recommend watching. Don't it watch it. Don't just, watch just it on watch your own accord because that's not a good this, idea. I don't know who this dickhead is playing Cyclops, but I don't like the look of that's him. I don't the, like uh, the cut of his jib. That's uh, that's the kid from um, like Ty Sheridan. Yeah, that's Ready a, Player One. Yeah, it's a Ready Player One kid. Mm, nope, you're not my Cyclops. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to be Army Hammer. It just it just makes sense. Yeah, I want my Cyclops to be you know a grown up. All right, yo. Yeah, this movie looks awful. <sighs> Wow. Uh, June third. I'm seeing it June third. I'm so excited. Cam is driving all the way up from Tennessee. To Are, you <laughs> serious? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, get the yeah. fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, when is June third? It's two weeks. Is, is that a fucking? It's a Monday. Wednesday? It's a Monday. Is it going to be on the show? No, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh Look, shit! Might as well stay the week. He's fucking driving up here to see a terrible fucking movie. Yeah, yeah man. Stay That's up lower. Here, man. Do the show with us, goddammit. Hey, dumb dumb. The hell? Get yourself some maple bacon porter. Or whatever it's pretty good. Yeah, it's very good. Is. Yeah, not bad. I don't. I'm not a huge beer drinker, but um, I mean, wow. <laughs> I mean, it's no wine. <laughs> but it's fine. Uh, yeah, that Dark Phoenix trailer or clip is fuck yes. all hilarious. This movie is gonna. By the way, they're saying that it's not going. It's likely not to win its opening weekend. <laughs> what the fuck else is coming out that week? Uh, Life of Pets too. <laughs> 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 it's it's scheduled to not. It's scheduled With to Kevin barely. Hart. I don't know. Yeah, yeah Kevin Hart is he's a the bunny movie. rabbit. Yeah, he's the sure. Bunny. I have yeah, no yeah, idea. Yeah. I only know that because I've seen that movie. For oh, the first one, yeah, apparently it was not too bad. I mean, it's a kids movie, but it's a kids movie. Huh? Yeah, but apparently that and that is scheduled to make like seventy million. Um, 60 or 70 million, and this is scheduled to only make about 50. Wow, million. yo, if the secret life of pets to outgrosses a 20 year old franchise, <laughs> yeah, a comic book movie that's embarrassing. In the X Men of no, in the comic no book less. renaissance, right? Yeah. And it's the X-Men. right, it ain't like we're in a time where like, oh, nobody's seeing those movies, bitch. This one made two billion dollars in like four days, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Good luck. Good luck, Dark Phoenix fans. You're going to have a hell of a time. Uh, next up, a little bit of talk about the Batman, the Matt Reeves movie. Uh, apparently, you know, it came out earlier this week that the villains were going to be Catwoman and um, the Penguin. And people were like, ah, we've already seen them. We'll do some other ones. But apparently that's not exactly all that's happening. Um the talk is that Matt Reeves wants to make this kind of like the definitive Batman movie. So he's he's putting in um, six, somewhere but or around six or, you know, half a dozen, you know, you know, take one or two 
uh, villains that will show up. That'll be a part of the story. Not necessarily like all of them as main villains, but you know they will be existing in the world. Um, the talk mm-hmm. is that Penguin, Catwoman, possibly Two Face, the Riddler, and Victor Saz um, could also uh, show up, and uh, the antagonist may also rumored might may also be the Court of Owls. Um, and also Deathstroke, the Joker, and Scarecrow are all mentioned in these rumors. So it's a lot. But not so all of them. Lot. They're just saying that any of them could be a possibility. So it's it's probably going to be, you know, Catwoman, Penguin, and likely four others. So that's kind of interesting. Um I don't know if I like that. What? Um Hush did that. And Hush wasn't that great. Hush is like the Final Fantasy Seven of Batman stories. <laughs> Like it's it's a good introduction, and literally like every major villain that Batman has is in that story. Yeah, but it's not a good. It's a it's a mystery, but it's not a good mystery. I figured it out pretty early. Yeah, like oh, you figured out that the the brand new character who's all of a sudden a close childhood friend of Bruce Wayne, but has never been mentioned before, is the guy in the mask. Yeah, and I was like, and that dude's like six foot two. 250? Right. Like, <laughs> he looks like Batman. Like he, I think that's him. <laughs> right. Like, no shit. Fucking Tommy Elliott is hush. But... <gasps> but I think you just ruined it for all the people who good, that don't, don't watch the animated movie. Good. You don't need to watch it then. Yeah, it's it's not that great of a story. Um, but well, yeah, it, it all depends on how they play it, I guess. I guess so. But, I, you know, uh, again, it was the last Batman movie that had, like, three villains in it. It, had, it also had a bad credit card in it. No, that's not true. Well, uh, what other one had three no, villains? Uh, Batman Begins had a number of the villains, too. What other one had two? <laughs> it was... Um, they had the very villain. end, the Joker. They had the Joker. Well, no, not even, not even the Joker, but, like, uh, Falcone was in it. They're, they're, I mean, guys, this don't count. count. I guys know, I understand count. that, but I'm just saying, like, they had multiple They had multiple villains. Um, yeah, multiple. Two. Um, you know, uh, Ra- Ra- Ghoul. Ra- Ghoul and like the, the Scarecrow. Main. And Scarecrow was... Okay. Yeah. Ra- Ghoul and the Scarecrow. Yeah, it was... The Bat- second one was the Joker. Yeah. The third one was Bane, Bane and Catwoman. And Catwoman, right? I really didn't like that. I did that, not like that movie. No, that that movie is is not great in that trilogy. But I really didn't like Catwoman. I really did like oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just did not look. Look, uh, Hollywood. If you're listening, and I know that you are, um, <laughs> could you pick a Catwoman with a with, with a figure? <laughs> if you could, if you could. <laughs> Yeah. Like, come on, man! Like, yeah, like, I mean, they don't need to black. be like Frank Cho drawings. I'm, f- I'm, I mean, I'm fine. Uh, with right, it. like, relax, relax. <laughs> I'm uh, fine with it. But, but like, could you like who yeah, was who black was, leather on Anne Hathaway? Just didn't. It not just work. didn't do anything for me. Sorry. I mean, Michelle that Pfeiffer. Was, Michelle that was Pfeiffer looked better. I didn't like that movie per se. Like, I just didn't like that movie at all. Right, like, right. No, I know that you're didn't help. No, it didn't. It, it just really <laughs> didn't. It's, it's like, come on, yo, come on, like. I always thought because the talk was that Jessica Alba might have played, or not, Je- not, not Jessica Alba. Um, who's married to Justin Timberlake? Um, oh who, yeah, I like her. She's. Um, um, I don't know who that. Uh, what's her name? Jessica. Um, it's not Jessica Alba. No, it's no. not Jessica Alba. Jessica Alba is Latina. She's the girl from. She's the woman from Stealth. Remember that movie. <laughs> with Jamie Foxx, yeah, yeah, and yeah. they had to fight the, sure the AI Jessica plane. Alba? That's not that's trust me. That is not Jessica Alba. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Oh God, what is her fucking name? Jessica Biel. Oh, right. yeah, she's she's married to Je- yeah, yeah, she's married to um, Justin Timberlake. Still, um, I'm surprised. Yeah, they got a kid. Um, yeah, she actually has a. Uh, physique, <laughs> like, and she's fit, and she looks great, and she's not eighteen pounds. Like, could you just <laughs> like that's the one thing where like Christopher Nolan, like he really is into super skinny white women. I'm like, gosh. that's not that's not something that I enjoy. Yeah, it's not really my thing, man. It's not I'm my thing not, at all. It's not, not even remotely close. Like, I'm, I'm <laughs> like, not, not at all. <laughs> not ever. <laughs> like, nah. Yeah, but like Jessica Bill. Mm, yeah, that's she, Jack's thing though. Yeah, Jack likes you know, you know. girls who look like twelve year old boys. Not gonna <laughs> creep. <laughs> yeah, Gross. he's not here this week, so we can talk shit about him. <laughs> Fuck you, Jack. Get out of here. Um, yeah, like yeah, she's fit. She looks good. Whatever. Like, but she's she and knows. she's an actress. Like, she's not just some you know. Yeah, like there was a time where she was like she was actually pretty fucking fit. 
Like there, there was a. What was that movie? She, she was she, Blade what? Trinity. No, no, that, that's not that's not the movie I was gonna say. No, what was the one where like she was in with like Adam Sandler, and like she, it, it was like he was pretending to be gay, and then like Jack and Jill. Yeah, and there's nah, that scene I'm just, where she, I'm just guessing. Yeah, there's that scene where she's got like uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, all right, like, well, yeah, that's what I figure Catwoman should look like, right? She's like Texas mm-hmm. Chainsaw Massacre. She was. That was not a good remake. I've never seen it. Yeah, don't, don't. It, mm. it, look, I saw it and it wasn't scary. It was fucking dumb. They're like, oh, we're making this. I was like, well, this is gonna be shit. Turns out I was right. Um, yeah, Jessica Biel would have been a decent choice. I mean, not She's the best. Total Cold remake. Total Recall remake. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I did not. I did not see that. No. I did. Wait, two of us went to see that together. Yeah. Oh, was that, okay. Yeah, yeah that yeah. movie wasn't. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah that wasn't that great. No, yeah, wasn't. notice I didn't get in your way. <laughs> I'm at it. Right, that's called sabotage, is what that is. Oh, yeah, it's, called, man. it's called protecting my brain. <laughs> no. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll see what the Batman villain thing is. Uh I'd like to see him do something clever, like Clayface or something, something new and interesting. Mr. Freeze would be nice. I'd like to get the stench of Arnold Schwarzenegger out of my mind. Um as uh Victor Freeze. <laughs> you know what's funny? Like Vic, like Mr. Freeze had Chill. was he was given new life because of Batman the animated series. Like before, he was just like a guy with a cold gun, but yeah. then Batman the animated series came out and made him this sympathetic yeah. figure. And that episode won a goddamn Emmy. Really? Yeah, it won an Emmy. Wow! And, I mean, it was really good. And yeah, then. It was. And then uh, okay, everyone, chill. Like, what the fuck? Like, they really, you go for it? Like, they've really, they've really gone from one extreme to the other. <laughs> Yo, the video of all of the ice funds are fucking ridiculous. Like, like, what we'll killed the dinosaurs? The ice Like, you got, like, you got Victor Freeze in the cartoon. Is like, I will never know what it feels like to. Hold a warm hand on a summer's day. Yes, Batman, I'd kill for that. And then you got this fucking movie. What killed the dinosaurs? <laughs> the Ice Age! <laughs> yeah! Like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Whoever was in charge of casting for that movie should have been summarily fired right. and run out of Hollywood. Holy Jesus shit. Christ, yo. <laughs> no, no, I have an idea for I have an idea for uh, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger to be a Batman villain. Oh, is he gonna be Bane? No, that would be dumb. <laughs> Let him be Victor Freeze, the guy, the eloquent, soft-spoken man with a with a with a cold heart who's who's had massive loss. No, no, let's give it to the giant uh, bodybuilder. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Joel Schumacher. Yo, J- Yo, Joel Schumacher, what were you thinking? Oh, and they, shit. They, they let him direct two, right? Yep, they sure did. The two terrible ones. That's, um, that's a shame. Yeah, right. those movies are not good. Uh, True Lies is being adapted at, uh, to become a series on Disney Plus by Mick G. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I've All seen right. him. What is it? Fast Lane? Did he do Fast Lane Yo. on Fox? <laughs> <laughs> With Bill Bellamy? Bill Bellamy and oh. uh, what's his name? Was it the dude from uh, Can't Hardly Wait? Yeah, yeah. What's his name, Terrence? I forgot. Don't lie Something to me. Peter, Peter Faccinelli. Yeah, I was going to say, come <laughs> on, man. <laughs> I was like, yeah, don't, look, don't, don't let us down. You know Turn exactly what Fuck you. <laughs> that dude, uh... He was a pretty good actor. Like I, I liked, I, I liked him. He always played like a piece of shit. Like he was always just kind of a piece of shit. Um, yeah, um, it's funny. I went McG- to McGee's. I went to McGee's IMDb page, and you know how they have like list, um, user list related to uh, what you're looking up. Uh, top of the user list: uh, 25 worst directors of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Second one: worst directors alive. Damn. The directors and producers who made possible the best sagas of the word of the word. I think you mean world. Um, and then worst directors ever. So, Let's see what has he directed, movie wise. Oh boy, he has done some fucking <laughs> stinkers, man. Um, we are Marshall. It was okay. That wasn't too bad. It was okay. Charlie's Angels. No. Charlie's Angels. Full throttle. No thanks. The Smash Mouth video. That was like one of his first uh, gigs, was it not? He did a Terminator movie. He did the, the All-Star video? Didn't Probably. He, he did Pretty Fly for a White Guy. Oh, my God. 
He did Walking on the Sun by Smash Mouth. That's good to know. Um, his no, first his walk, first though. work was Corn's Shoots and Ladders. Corn Clown, Corn Shoots and Ladders, Cypress Hill, Throw Your Hands in the Air, Corn Blind, Cypress Hill, Throw Your Set in the Air. Okay, those are two separate songs. Right? Oh, he did Sugar Rays every he morning. He did Santeria. Sublime. Yeah, that's a good song. Uh... Walking on the sun. This is not a good. This is not a good list of things that Mick G has done. Basketball. Mick G also not not only is Mick G bad at making movies. Mick G is bad at music. <laughs> like he chose the worst <laughs> fucking music to to make oh videos. Oh my to. god! The Offspring, Pretty Fly for a White Guy, Corn, Got the Life, Everclear, One Hit Wonder, Bare Naked Ladies. Wow! Yeah, he's really he really stunk it up every um, morning. Ooh. <laughs> So, Mike, are you excited? You love yeah, True Lies. All Star. Okay, 99. Charlie's Angels, Cypress. <laughs> you like, you like <laughs> True Lies, Micah? I do like True Lies. Sure. Um, are you excited for McG to ruin this? Not really, but... Um, Will you watch it? I'll, I'll look at a trailer. I'll look at a trailer. <laughs> he did Terminator Salvation. Yeah. Oh, he sucks. He it's did Terminator Salvation. Awful. That was the one with, with uh, what's the name? Well, God for you! Was that it? Was <laughs> that the one? Oh, yeah, where he, cl- yeah. Uh, he kirked out. Yeah. <laughs> Flipped out on a, on a fucking so lighting guy. Like the craft services table or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. Means war. Wasn't that with them? Um, yes. That's with uh, that's fucking with Bane. Yeah, that's with Tom Hardy and Chris Pine. Yeah. and uh, Apparently that was really Reese with Witherspoon, I believe. She was. Yes. They were, they were both fighting over her. Yeah. Okay, whatever. <laughs> sure. Does it feel like you would have fought over Reese Witherspoon? Not at all. Oh, sad. No, not ever. I really like her in um, Big Little Lies, though. I need to see that. People say it's good. It's very good. The second season, I think, starts this weekend. Not this weekend. He did two Next episodes weekend. of the Lethal Next Weapon season. series. Never saw that. Neither did I. So, all right. So, Mick G, uh, greatest director, or uh, never going to see this? I'm good. Yeah, I'll 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 watch a trailer. I look, I really love True Lies. True Lies is a no time to bleed uh classic waiting to happen. Have you ever seen yeah, True Lies? Yeah. It's so good. It's so good. The guy who's the villain in that shows up in Homeland and he's like a serious actor. I was like, <laughs> didn't you die by getting like you flew on a rocket? <laughs> like on your backpack in that <laughs> crazy ass movie? Yeah. True Lies is a patriotic <laughs> film that everyone should watch. Um next up, uh Carrie uh, Skoglin uh, will direct the six part Falcon in the Winter Soldier miniseries for Disney Plus um, starring Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan um, if you don't know her work she's done a lot of television and probably a lot of things that you know um, I, I, I looked up some of her work um, earlier but yeah so this seems to be in it seems to be in good hands, uh, from what I can tell. So, um, which is fine. I mean, that's good. I, I mean, look, I'm gonna see it. Like, I'm not gonna pretend like I'm not gonna watch uh, this. But yeah, that's that's totally fine by me. But um, she's done just a ton and ton of television. So, all right. Uh, next up, Daniel Bruhl and Emily Van Camp will join uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, that's obviously Baron Zemo and Sharon Carter, respectively. So that's cool. Um, it's good to see Zemo's going to continue to be used. The talk is that Zemo is likely to come back in a Thunderbolts movie. So um, is he putting on that? Uh, is he putting on that purple outfit? I hope so. I want to see him in the outfit. Fuck all that. Like he Even needs if it's a- just like the shirt. You know what I mean? Yeah, you like, gotta give him a little. He's gotta have a little flair. Like as Batrock the Leaper, he wasn't. He didn't look like Batrock. Yeah, but he, you know, he kind of it paid homage to. Yeah, they gave him the the, the color life. suit and everything. I mean, he just didn't have the ridiculous the French mustache. mustache yeah. Oui, oui, Captain America. Like, <laughs> I mean, he spoke, he spoke a little bit of French and um and uh, Cap spoke some French before he beat the brakes off of him in the beginning of Winter Soldier, <laughs> which was great. I think smaller villains should get uh, good, like little cameo kind of things like that. Um, but I'd like to see Daniel Brühl um, as a larger part of the MCU because that dude is a really good actor. Like he really, really is. Um, and for those people who don't know, he played Nicky Lauda in Rush, and Nicky Lauda just died, uh, which is a movie people should see because it proves that Chris Hemsworth is a very good dramatic actor too. So 
It's Thor versus Baron Zemo uh, <laughs> in Cars. That's a good movie. Um, but yeah, Daniel Bruhl and Emily Van Camp. Uh, Emily Van Camp could be in the MCU or not. I couldn't give a shit. She had zero chemistry with Chris Evans. Was she in the Winter Soldier? Yeah. And she's supposed to be in the in the books. She's supposed to be a love interest of Cap. Like his like absolute love interest. But they were just like, this isn't really working. So we're just going to eh, send no. him back in time. <laughs> Have him be with Peggy. Like this just isn't working. Like it, it just never. They never seem to connect at all on screen. So they kissed once, which is kind of weird considering like he's probably your uncle. Um, <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> Gross. Ew. Yeah. Um, we are going to skip the question of the week, one, because it's late. it is late, and oh. two, because Malcolm gave the wrong answer and tagged me in it. So blame Malcolm. <laughs> okay, that's weird. <laughs> but it's mostly because it's late. What did, All right. What did he say? <laughs> oh, you'll see it. And you'll laugh your ass off. And oh, you'll be he like, complain? oh, I get it. Oh, is he complaining about some black person? <laughs> no. <laughs> Leave that man alone. I'm just fine. I love Mel. I do. You know, anyway, um, you know his brother is the in conclusion guy? What are you talking about? In conclusion. Like that meme of that black guy with that. Oh, with, with the, the whiteboard? Yeah. Yeah. That's his brother. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what do you what the fuck story? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. That's his brother. Malcolm, if I'm lying, correct me, but I think I'm not lying. I think I heard, I think I saw you say that that's your brother. Yo, what? The heavy set dude? <laughs> yeah. In conclusion, my dick big? Nigga, <laughs> 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 that's funny. <laughs> that's hilarious. So Malcolm's famous. Oh, he's next to fame. He's next to famous. Wow. People. What does that meme money look like? <laughs> doesn't look much. much. Um, In conclusion, my dick hard. <laughs> That's the one that always trips me out. Man. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, but yeah, we'll read them. We'll read them next week. But um, yeah, it's just really late. Um, All right, what the fuck? Bro, what the fuck? Uh, a man's colon burst after his oh, fucking <laughs> Christ. God damn it. After his perverted friends. Put a compress. <laughs> that is fucking friend. <laughs> put a com- could put a compressed air pump into his anus and inflate it. <laughs> what? <laughs> you didn't see the story? No. This, the the Dude, thirty year old. Look, look, look! I already know these people are white. Um, you ever do something like that? Yeah, I will kill you. <laughs> Ever I get out After of the I hospital, fucking... my colon put back together. <laughs> The 30-year-old was taken to hospital after the horrifying prank left him uh, needing his entire bowel removed because of rectal blowout, an injury caused by air pressure rising so high in the rectum that it explodes. Uh, This case is, and his case, although extraordinary, wasn't unique. Doctors reported it in a journal uh, article alongside reports of two other men with similar injuries. The monthly journal, White People Be Wiling. <laughs> one had, <laughs> one had uh, pressurized air sprayed into his backside in an alleged accident. No, he wasn't an accident. You were trying to, were trying to jerk off and you had to... You shoved a fucking air hose up your ass. Yeah, well, the like other... a bike pump up your ass. It was like <laughs> jerking off at the same time with some dumb shit. Yo, like, I have been on this earth damn near 40 years. I have not accidentally had pressurized air thrown up my ass. Like, that has never happened. Well, it's the... not even come close. Well, like, no, another... that's not something that should happen to you. And then trip and fall at a gas station onto the air hose. Oh, no. They got me. No. The other suffered the agony at the hands of robbers whom he tried to stop. Damn, that's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll put the hose in his ass. I still don't believe that shit. Um, like, what them niggas like, we're going to rob you, but like, let's take this air hose and shove it up your ass. Would you? Yeah. Nah, yo, I'm not doing that if I'm trying to. Just give me your money, yo. I'm not trying to blow your asshole out. <laughs> like, come on, yo. <laughs> That's just unfortunate. This is in London. This is 100% that shit, in man. London. Did you say it's in London? Yes. I don't even remember. I saw the story. I didn't, I didn't pay attention to where it was. I just knew they were white. Uh, I'm, Amer- I'm going to say like Florida? Indianapolis. You're both wrong. It is in the subcontinent. In India? Yes. Are you serious? Yeah. Nah, these people are just Yo, doing they're not this. your friends, my nigga. <laughs> no, they're not your friends. The man's injury was reported by doctors in New Delhi and in 
Rishikesh? India. So there you go. No, they they would have to die. Yeah. When I, when I got go, when bro. I got my colon uh, fixed or whatever, if I got it fixed, I'd kill them. That you would be. To, I would go to jail because yeah, I you would gotta go to way to pick the sweet, my nigga. Like, nah. <laughs> you find, that. They'll find you when the when Lake Michigan thaws out. Like, no. Nah, what the gotta, fuck is wrong with people? Yep. Yo, stop. Yo, playing that's not a prank. Yo, stop. Stop playing with people's butts, man. Like, just stop. <laughs> yo, I cannot. I can't stress that enough, yo. That's a that's a yo, sacred that's area. Yo, that's not a fucking yo. prank. Yeah, well, that's not funny. Yeah, I pranked you. You almost died. Yo, yeah. I blew your fucking colon out your ass. That's not funny. <laughs> like, that's not funny. You gotta. I gotta. I gotta kill you. Yeah. No, you gotta go. <laughs> Like it's self defense, no, but it fine. happened three weeks ago. No, it was self defense. No, it's fine. Oh, Trust shit. me, you didn't want to be here. That's why you did this. <laughs> mm. Clearly, you didn't care about your own life. No, you really didn't. Uh, anyway, <laughs> he had multiple colonic perforations. Jeez. <laughs> That's the doctors disturbing. found fecal matter among his other internal organs. Yeah, uh, I would assume yeah, so. It blew the it blew the shit up into his body. Yeah, that's good for him. <laughs> God Yo, damn. that's not funny. Yeah, no, I, mean, really I know it's not, but, no, but I'm just no, saying, not you. Like, that's not a fucking prank. Yo. Yeah. Like, that's why I don't like pranks, yo. Don't <laughs> prank me. Don't prank me, yo. Yeah, I don't like don't surprises, do yo. I don't, I don't like surprises. Like, yeah. like, yeah. Here's a prank. That, remember that time you you got all close to me when you came out your house and went up to punch you in the face? <laughs> <laughs> and I look, I didn't try to put air on air holes up your ass or anything. You're fucking weird, yo. Don't that pranks ain't funny, yo. They're just not. Yo, so now these people think that a, now these shit that think people think of pranks nowadays. They're not even pranks. Like snatch your phone in the street. I'm a, yo. I'm gonna beat the shit out you. Yo, what? don't do that. Yeah. Don't yo, do this that. phone is a thousand dollars. Here's a prank. You got a broken leg. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny. Like, you over here eating something? And they just smack it out your hand. You know, ah, prank, bro. Like, nah, bitch. <laughs> no. <laughs> you gotta. You you want to get hurt? <laughs> like, don't smack shit out my hand or yo. take shit out of my hand and eat it. Yo. Nah, bro. Nah, nah. Yo, like my instant some... reaction is to punch you in the throat. Yo, if someone knocked my food out of my head. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> it's a prank. Yeah, it's a prank. All right, come yeah. here. <laughs> All right, oh, that's funny. Let <laughs> uh, yeah. me. What's your YouTube channel? Come tell me about it. I knock your fucking teeth out, yo. Is that on camera? You get that? Shit. Oh, that's what that. Yo, they don't that touch that knock that motherfucker clean out in that video. <laughs> Uh, what if like, I give you a kiss? Prank. No, he knocked him unconscious. That's the prank. Fuck you. <laughs> no, don't. What don't. if I give you a kiss? I, you know what? I'd yeah, love it. Do it. Wow. <laughs> that dude had the absolute right response. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, dude. stop pranking people, dog. It's not funny. This is not a prank. It's not funny. It's not cute. Yeah. No, here's a prank. Here's, here's me throwing you off a rooftop. <laughs> Blow my colon up. Blur, bro. You, now you got broken legs. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, no. Um, in my story. Um, Disgusting. <laughs> Why do you seem so disappointed, Terrence? Man wakes up to find his penis has been cut off. <laughs> <laughs> because why the fuck not? How did you not awaken during the process? After a night of drinking, a man woke up to find Girl, his penis. See, this is why I don't drink. That's it. That's it, yo. That's it. Like, could you imagine? Like, like nah, yo. I man, as, I, as I'm having this, the rest of this porter, man, I hope nothing happens. This is good. Like, I'm not drunk enough to pass out and have someone cut my dick off and me not know it. Nah, yo. That, nah. Here's the, funny, funny. here's the funny thing. Never been that drunk. Never will be. Nah, fuck that. No, you're right. You're right. Hey, you're 100%. hey, hey, let me see what'll happen. No, no. I'll wake right up. You touch my penis. I'll wake right up. I'll be like, ooh, something happening? Are you trying to cut it off? <laughs> nah. Mm-mm. Nope. Uh, anyway, me. Uh, after a night of drinking, a man woke up to find his penis had been removed. I'm not gonna. Pre- not, I'm not gonna say the name, man's name. This is in Africa. Uh, <laughs> so and so. This is in Africa. So and so spent a night with uh, friends, um, and ending up drinking so much that he went into he went to sleep in public. Jesus Christ! Don't do that. The next morning, uh, he woke up to a sharp pain in his groin. It's a prank, bro. <laughs> That's when he noticed his genitals had been chopped off. What? He informed the police that he has no idea who would have committed such a crime. Uh, no, yo. Nope, nope, nope. He cut his dick off while he was drunk. No, he did. He did. He did. He 100% did. He 100% did. He, 100% did. he cut it off or somebody convinced him to cut it off and he don't want to admit that. According to the Met- the Metropolis Daily, uh, the 44-year-old was severely bleeding, but se- several hospitals reportedly turned him away as they were not equipped for that type of operation. Turned him away? Damn. What the fuck? 
Reports show the man then went uh, to a hospital and was treated by uh, microsurgery experts, doctor who treated... What kind of said experts? parts of uh, microsurgery. <laughs> See, that's experts. offensive. That's offensive. <laughs> that's offensive. Microsurgery. Yeah, this that's should a... happen in China. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on. This is China or yo, India, yo. Come on. This is China, yo. This is, this is China. China. China or India. It's got to be. It's China. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah. Come I was, on yeah. I was, according to the Sangxiang Metro, Metro, <laughs> Metropolis Daily. We can't the 44-year-old from oh. Hao <laughs> Hua Hunan was severely bleeding, but several hospitals reportedly turned oh, him away, shit. as they were not reporting, as they were not equipped for the type of operation. Reports show the man went then went to Shangsha Hospital and was treated by microsurgery experts, Doctor Wu Pang Feng. Uh, okay, because of course, <laughs> who treated Nan said reports of the body that had been amputated should be kept in a dry, refrigerated manner. Nan's penis was successfully reattached after seven hours. That nigga cut his own shit off. Where the fuck did he find yeah, it? Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> what did you see? Next to him? They were just like, clink! <laughs> they set it there. Like, just put it in his fucking coat pocket? Like, nah, why yo. would you do that? Nah, yo, he did it himself. Uh, Are you lying? Nan's man. penis was, was successfully reattached after seven hours of surgery oh my God. and microsurgery. <laughs> now he is recovering and doing well. Medical officials said police are investigating the incident. No. No. No, absolutely not. No, mm-mm. I'm good. Mm. All the way good. No, thank you. No. <laughs> yes. Next story. No. Yes, yo, he, yo, he, he went to a microsurgery place. That's hilarious. <laughs> it um, because it wasn't big enough. So I'm no. going to read the Poor title guy. of the story. I'm going to give you a little bit of information. I'm going to need you to guess the place, and then you can open the story because it's a very visual story. Um, I don't. Too hot for work. Woman claims she can't find a job because of her good looks. Somewhere in the Midwest. <laughs> okay. Your thoughts? She's too hot for work. For like she's either Japanese or white. I'm going to Japan. Okay. And you said Midwest? Yeah, somewhere in the Midwest of America. Uh, you're both wrong. She's in London um, by way of Russia. Uh, you can open the story now. What does she look like? Um, I will tell you what I think she looks like. Go ahead and click on the story. I, I will. I will give you my initial she's assessment. Law school graduate. From, she's a law school graduate. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of my goddamn face! Yeah. She looks like she looks like one of the characters from like a Donald Duck cartoon. <laughs> she, she's not attractive to me at all. Look, y'all already know how I feel about white women. But there are attractive white there women. There are attractive white she women. She is not one of them. You are correct. <laughs> no. Like, she's she she's looks, too attractive. I'm looking at these other pictures. Eat four burgers. You are so like, skinny. Uh, Gross. First of all, look, clearly she's had surgery well, on yeah. her lips. Yo, that oh, third surgery. picture. Yo, that third picture. She looks like a character out of the Dark Crystal. She <laughs> looks like a Muppet. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> Did she? She does. She looks like the Muppet that plays the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> What's the one the fuck with the be- with the long hair? the red one with the bangs and the, yeah. the big ass lips? <laughs> Yo, come on. Bro. <laughs> she is not attractive. She's got Yo, fake come- boobs. She's got fake lips. Um, um, she surprisingly kept her real nose. I- I'm shocked by that. Um, no, she she looks like she looks like a character out of the Dark Crystal. Janice the Muppet, yeah, <laughs> yeah, playing bass guitar. Right, she looks like her. Oh, <laughs> she's also like Janice Joplin. I, I don't know, but that's what she looks like to me. Uh, yeah, I'm not impressed by this woman's looks. Uh, she's, am I. Yeah, she says that she is uh, way too attractive. Uh, she says, "quote Even during the hiring process, being beautiful gets in the way." I have a law degree and a great CV, but my recruitment agent. Still told me to dye my blonde hair dark for interviews. Um, yeah, because nobody likes blondes because they do stupid shit like this. <laughs> yeah, uh, she said, you'll never get a job looking like that. She was right, too. After I colored my hair, I got offered more work. I even started wearing clear glasses, although my sight is perfect, uh, to look more professional. Yeah, it's because you, you, okay, you have fake lips, fake boobs. It's because you look like a fucking, a, a shitty IG model. <laughs> That's why. Yeah, they're probably like, why would we hire a prostitute <laughs> here? Like, this is a real ass job. Because you're trying to be a lawyer. I mean, look, 
her look shouldn't get in the way of her, her fucking dreams of being a lawyer, but I'm just saying. Well, maybe don't make your looks look like you you sell it for $250 a pop. Like, sorry. <laughs> she does. She looks like a fucking Instagram prostitute. And not a very good one. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a fan. Um, just, that's all I'll say. Yeah. Like, I, you, you're not too pretty to be a fucking lawyer. No. Maybe you're too ugly. Yeah. Maybe they were like, I don't want this ugly here. Damn. Yo, she's not. Yo, she's ugly. She's, yeah, she looked like somebody hit her in the face with a book. <laughs> a big ass book. Yeah. I she went got to her. stuck by a bee in her lips. Oh. I'm, like, I'm, 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 I'm on her Instagram stop, page. Stop doing lip shit. You know, like, yeah. you don't yeah, look you don't normal, have, yo. Yeah, you, if you don't stupid. have big lips. You just don't have big lips. Do what Sorry. I do and grow a mustache over. <laughs> <laughs> Solid <laughs> advice for her. Solid <laughs> advice. Like, I'm no. I I have met attractive Russian women, and she is not one of them. Hey, I'm not. I'm not, I'm just not impressed. I, this might be a Jack type. No, um, I don't even think he'd be. I mean, is he into the Dark Crystal? <laughs> Nah, I, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm good. No, nah, no, nah, like, I'm good. shout out to Jack. I don't, I don't think Jack would. Um, I don't think Jack would approve of this. All right, well, I'm done. This is yeah, gross. This is weird. All right, quick, quickly before we get out of here, thoughts on the Terminator Dark Fate trail? I'll see. I didn't hate it. <sighs> looks good. I thought it did. Yeah. I thought it actually looked. A good. lot of people were like, "No thanks." I'm like, "It looks better than the fucking last four. I, I think people are automatic "No thanks" because it's a Terminator movie. I don't think Maybe. it's because of what they saw in the trailer. I, I truly. It's possible. Like, yeah, like two, Terminator Two is one of my favorite movies of all time. Still holds up. Yeah, it really fucking does. Like yeah, I saw it maybe like three months ago. That shit still holds up, like special effects wise. Holds yeah. up better than Avatar. I mean, here's the thing: the special effects are very, very good. Yeah. <laughs> and that shit was ninety two. Yeah, or ninety one. Um, it holds up better than Avatar. Uh, look, I'm, I'm gonna see it. Yeah, I mean, uh, Ghost Rider's in it, man. Yeah, Gabriel Luna uh, yeah. is the Terminator. I like that uh, Mackenzie Davis. Uh, for folks who don't know, she's in Halt and Catch Fire. She's very, very good in that, amongst some other things. Um, she appears to be an enhanced human, which I like the idea of that. Like, at a certain point, like that sh- seems to be the yeah, logical that's the progression, step. right? They right. Like, the like, Terminator are like basically almost the basically human, but not quite. Yeah, so why wouldn't you enhance humans to do the same thing? Um, so I like that. I, I like that they have someone that, and it's not just a repeat of the same story, right? Because, yeah. like, Mackenzie Davis is going to have her own level of humanity, but also probably fucked up from going through these experiments to um, to get these I want to see what the, an- the Arnold Schwarzenegger um, cameo is going to conclude, too. He needs to die in this. Or go away. Yeah, man. I never He's understood. died like four times. So. I know, but like this should <laughs> this should be the last one. It, yeah. it really if, if Cameron is coming back to not direct it, obviously, but yeah. to like have his hand in the producing, give Arnold a proper send off and just let him be. And if this is good, then continue the series. But just so this is, is enough. What does this take place? This is this when is ignoring this everything. After Terminator Two, this is ter- this is the real Terminator. Yeah, this is the real Terminator Three. Yeah. Uh, look, one more time. Twenty. This years is the like last years time. The this is. I know. This is. This is. Like this is said. fucking it. it. If it don't work now, it's not <laughs> yeah, gonna work. It's over. never gonna work. Scrap it. Reboot it. Ten years from now. Yeah. This is it, man. Yeah. Like I, I agree. If you can't get it to work this time, it needs to just be a reboot. Because this is literally Linda Hamilton thirty years in the future. Yeah. All right, look, yeah. like it just is. It just is. Yeah. Like it ain't no coming back after. This. Right, she's an old lady now. <laughs> By the way, her show up in this trailer was dope. Yeah, she's a fucking badass. She blew that nigga up with a goddamn rocket launcher. <laughs> I'm like, okay, <laughs> but that sure. looked as visceral as T2 did. Too. Yeah, like it, it had that feeling to me. Is it rated on? I think so. I, I think like it I, should be. I think it is going to be. All right, all right. This is the. Le- I I agree with you. This is it. Yeah, man. Anything, like, anything outside of this have to be referred along as fucking as fucking John Connor somehow, because he didn't die in the third in the second one. Right? Yeah. I, look, I gotta tell you, he died in the third one, didn't he? Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> who cares? But man? the thing is, man. that would be something to keep tight to the yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like they don't show him at all, but he shows up somehow. That would be a nice cameo. Like, yeah. hey, mom. And he's just like grizzled and he's like ready to fucking go. But what is that for a long look? Like, last oh, time I was he, he looked like he, a crackhead. Yeah. Well, Unfortunately. He looked really bad. Oh, 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 like on meth. Oh, yeah. But you know what? You can get a little Hollywood shape. You never know. <laughs> yeah. 
But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna see it. I'm yeah. gonna, like I like I like one and two. Yeah, and the rest of them have been <laughs> just a series of disappointments. Um, all right, that's it for us. Uh, we will see you guys next week. See you. Take it easy. Bye. You're watching the Nerdpocalypse YouTube channel. Make sure you click that button to subscribe and check out our weekly podcast where we talk about movie, TV, news, tech, and weird stories from around the internet.